So we gotta cover these again, alright? Yeah. What's wrong, bro? Oh, no, no, no. You good? Seem a little quiet today. Yeah, I am. You know, I've been doing a little talking to my family. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been giving me a lot of insight, input. Go ahead, man. Okay. What all they've been telling you, man? How y'all around, shaking my mama highs, all types of stuff. I said we bring and shot there. I don't say they did. Me and him wasn't up there. Yeah. yeah, she said they put her on my sister outside. Oh, well, they got to do that. You know, anytime, anytime they do a search, they got to do that. Now. But I can show you they didn't ransack the house. Y'all still looking for some money? <laughs> well, I mean, here, let me cover this first. All right. All right, name's Charles Rowland. You're 49. All right, you had the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used again. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. You cannot afford to hire a lawyer or want to be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any question or make any statements. Do you understand your rights? Yeah. All right, if you don't mind, do you understand that? You can just sign that. Saying that you, yes, sign right there saying you understand your rights and don't mind us talking to you. Well, I mean, you, you, you brought up the money. Yeah, I mean, there's still we're still looking for the money. Well, no, well, there's, there's money. Now, we may be looking forever. $11,620. I don't know about that. Yeah. I don't know about that. Okay. Well, listen. Is um, oh, that what y'all got from Dez or something? Well, you know, Dez, uh, well, you know, we've been talking with Dez, obviously. But... Finally, y'all ain't been talking to him before y'all came and talked to me. I just, I found that out. Well, no, he's been talked to. I don't know where you get the information, but they ain't going to know everything we're doing now. All right, well, go ahead. I'm good. Okay. So, but wanted to talk with you. You know, we talked about the issue with the hammer and the gun, the the two that we discussed, you know, before, uh, before the phone call, and wanted to see if we can talk about that. Uh, before I go any further, I, I want to ask you something. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, before I incriminate myself in the father or, or anything like that, and I, and I tell y'all about some old murders that I have committed, can y'all guarantee me I won't get the death penalty? Can I guarantee that? Um, I can't. Now, the DA's office can. I know what I'm saying, but I know y'all can talk to him. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Now, here, here's here's what I can promise you, that I will call the DA and say, Mr. Rowland's willing to discuss other murders that he's responsible for if we do not give him the death penalty. Um, and I can certainly have that conversation. And I, I give you my word, I'll make that call. Okay. All right. Okay. He give me his word, and I tell y'all about all of them. Like all of them, I won't even not skip around. Okay. That's one thing. And another thing, I tell y'all about all of them after I talk to my mom. And I don't mean I say I want to talk to my mom because she don't know nothing about none of them. And I hate for it to pop across the news. And okay. And she have a heart attack or something. So okay. I'd rather talk to her. Tell her, hey. You know, hey, son been bad. Okay. You know, no. That's fair enough. You want to hear it from you and not from the news. Yeah, so, you know, if it come across, you'll be like, hey, oh, man, I ain't know my son doing all that. So, that's what I said. Well, let me ask you this before I make the phone call. Um, how, uh, how many, because he's going to ask me how many. Oh, 
from Macon to Atlanta, or all of them in total, how many are there? Three, let me three, four, five. A total, that's a total of nine. I told you ten, but the one in Atlanta, you know, that make nine. It's a total of nine people out of the gun. Is that in addition to the one that we've already discussed from 2001? Yeah, that's what I see. Okay, so. It's just nine. Nine, so eight more. Yeah. And they're all in Macon and Atlanta. Yeah. Any other out of state or anything like that? No. Nah. Any in any other areas? Mm -mm. And what, what time frames are we looking between? Oh, uh, like I said, beside that one in 21, in 2001, all the rest of them happened in the last four years. Okay. <laughs> Well, let me ask something real quick. Um, is this swag? No, I ain't got no face hat. The very first picture you showed me that day, uh -huh. that dude was just like him. Do you know this guy? Uh, honestly, he looked familiar somewhere, but no, nah, I can't say I do. Okay. okay. Um. Yeah, if they can guarantee me no death penalty, I share the remain of my days in prison till I die. Okay. And I tell them, I tell y'all about all the murders. And okay. then, like I said, I want to tell my mama, you know, she can hear from me. Okay. Uh, she don't, the 2001, you know, she know, she know they tried to bring it up on me, but she don't, you know, yeah. I, I didn't hide it. Yeah, I understand. So. I just want to tell her. You want, you want something to drink or anything? No, I'm good right now. I'm good. good. I was in no sleep when the game got me. Okay. I got you. Then I started treating me a little better now. Have they? Okay. Yeah, I done got moved to another cell. Where, where are you at now? I'm still, I'm still on Supermax. Okay. But I'm just on another part of Supermax. Right? Okay. I get to go to the store. And, okay. Store call and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. My whole lady finally sent me $200. So. Okay. Right, so All right. that's, 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 that's my promise to y'all. Y'all make that happen. I won't even not sugarcoat nothing. I'll tell you about everything and tell you who, what, when, why, how, where the murder weapon is at, everything. So, so make that happen, I got to. Okay. Well, uh, what if we made that call right now? That DA can guarantee that. All right. And then I can get on that phone to talk to my mom about 10 minutes. Y'all can sit there and listen. I'm good. And I tell y'all what y'all want, and y'all take me back to the county jail. All right. I want you. Do you? Can you? Can you? Go, they, can, they can get them on the phone. Yeah. Can you go see? Yeah, we can get. Uh, Let me text the sheriff. Yeah. Now, with some discussions with our DA, of course, I've had to talk with him about our case here. You know, one of the things they have said, and I'm just telling you exactly what they said that. They won't do any talking, any kind of nothing until everything with our case is out there. You know, they, they did say that. But before they gonna do any kind of talking, that truth will have to be out. Uh-huh. And then with, with that, you know, I also you know, I've been doing a little research on that and how they trying to, you know, um, they got me charged with malice murder, murder, mm -hmm. malice murder, murder, four murder. And number two body for one. You know, I guess I've been doing some research on that too and uh, you know, it's a case back in back in I think two thousand and one, something like that they had a case. Nathan versus some versus State of Georgia where they tried to charge him the same way. He ended up beating it. Because they tried to charge him with two murders for one body. Well, so and obviously we can't give you any kind of legal advice. Okay, yeah. so but now I can explain it, but I can't necessarily answer any specific questions about how you should pursue that. You know, obviously, we read you your rights. You're free, you know, free to stop this interview at any time. I, you, from what we discussed, you understand those rights, am I correct? Yeah, I understand. Okay, so, you know, there's felony murder where somebody's killed during the course of a felony. 
Yeah. Okay, such as armed robbery, aggravated assault, something like that. That's what this is. Right, and then you can, and then there's malice murder, which is somebody's killed with, with a, what they call malice of forethought, which can be developed, you know, very very quickly. Now, you know, ultimately, when when as far as how the case moves forward, you understand, and, and I know you understand this. You know, there, there's arrest warrants where there's probable cause to charge somebody with a crime. And then the DA's office will make a decision how the case will be indicted. Okay, so some of these on how your case will move forward, as far as you know, like you're asking about, you know, about the death penalty and things like that. We can't guarantee you that. That's why we have to refer to them. And as far as how your case is indicted, it's ultimately how the DA's office believes the facts of the case fit that. Now, have I seen other people been? be charged and convicted of felony murder and malice murder, I have, okay, um, but, you know, I, I'm not going to, I can't get into how this particular case, you know, I can, I have to leave it there, okay, I'm not going to get into a, a water of, of giving you any kind of legal advice, yeah, yeah, uh, so, so but, but now, I mean, at, at the end of the day, if it's, you know, you got two counts of felony murder, two counts of malice murder. If if you get just two counts of felony murder, is it, you know how much of a difference is that going to make? No. You know, so. Um, but what I can do, and I, you know, like I said, I'll give you my word. We'll we'll check check with the DA's office. And I do want to ask you something, Charles, um, because I don't want it to this the to, to go by and and. and me not bring this up. I would like to sit down with you one day and just have a conversation with no Miranda after this is all said and done and just talk about what's how you feel and how you think you know how you've thought going through some of these things. Is that something you'd be open to maybe later on? Yeah because I've been doing a lot of thinking in this cell. You know that would be but you know if we get to that point later on that wouldn't be anything to incriminate yourself. It wouldn't be anything to uh, use against you in court. It wouldn't be any Miranda. It'd just be me and you having a conversation about, you know, what your thought process, you know, how you were thinking when some of these things took place. Um, maybe you can understand a little bit more about yourself, and then it can maybe help me get some insight into other cases. All right, is that something? Is that I something? Like that. I like that. I like that. You know. Yeah. Um, like so, but when we get to the point, I'll reach out to you and say, hey, look, Charles, you know, this ain't no Miranda. This ain't nothing to use against you. Let's just sit down and talk. I'm going to get a, get a feel for, you know, what you were thinking when these things took place because what I'd like to do is um, you know obviously our goal is to not only solve cases but you know you want to prevent other people getting hurt if you can prevent it you know what I mean and so um, so anyway you may be able to shed some light for me and help me out and, and it may you may even get some clarity uh, for yourself um, let me uh, Can you, um, you want to see if we can get the DA on the phone? Yeah, we can get him on the phone. All right, well, before we call him, all right, and, and obviously, um, you know, we do got some questions, and, um, and they're going to want the answers to it. Okay, we've been looking for swag, all right? I'll tell you all about all that. I know all about the whole case, man. I just ain't. I ain't reveal the whole thing. I'm just being honest with you, man. I know you are. Yeah, so. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You know, uh, Charles, we both. One, you are a very smart man. You're not gonna. You're not gonna give. Put all the cards on the table. You got to hold some back for yourself, and because you never know when you need to play that card. And I think for the opportunity for you to play that card, it sounds as like you'll play it if you can avoid the death penalty. And so some of these questions about the money, about the existence of swag, those are the aces you got in your pocket. Because one, you know, if you are the trigger man, I think you have some concerns about how that would look for the death penalty. And then two, with the money... Um, you know, I think there's some sizable money out there that, that you would want to be able to either help your family or friends with and then also put on your books later down the line. I mean, and and we've kind of known from the beginning that maybe some of these things... Now, we've looked into it now. We, we've done our due diligence. But, you know, um, you kind of get to the point where 
you know, you can't you can't find something that's not there. So, um, so anyway, um, I think we're. It sounds like we're both at a an understanding about swag and about the money, um, but. W- and you don't have to get in the details, okay? You can nod your head if you want to, but I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to give the DA something, all right? And you just shake your head, yes or no? Does swag exist? Okay, <laughs> you you can leave it at that, all right? Um, was there some money? Yeah, I, I told you it was some money. Okay. Well, I told you it was some money. Okay. I, 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 I just. So okay. That DL yeah, go with it. All right, and and I don't know if if and just to let you know too, um, Wayne Wayne Air, when did you when did we charge him? We picked him up. I charged him yesterday. So, with murder. Okay. Felony malice. Mm-hmm. Everything you've been charged with, he's been charged with. Okay. okay. So he told y'all about his money. <laughs> well, and it's on your phone too. Yeah. What? Yeah, we got it off the phone. Eleven thousand six hundred twenty dollars. Oh, y'all retrieved the ticket. Yeah, that's what I say. You know, you're, you're you're holding some cards, and we're holding yeah. some cards too. So come on, man. Like I said, we this is and that's that. You know, being real, that's that's some of the things the DA is going to yeah. want some clarification on those. <laughs> See, every piece of evidence I get, I have to give it to them. Yeah. So they prepare their case, you know, so I have to give them everything I get. So, you know, that's where the clarification with them is coming in that we can't call them this morning and say, hey, well, he don't want the death penalty. Yeah. They're going to say, well, we really don't, you know, we're going by what evidence you're giving them. We got to be able to give them something, you know, yeah. As well, you know. We've got to be able to confidently say Charles is 100% telling us the truth right. other than, well, this is what he's saying, but we're finding this that contradicts right. what he's telling us. Exactly. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah, it was money. It was, it was uh, honestly, the God and the truth. It was a black safe. I threw it in the trash can, and it had a bunch of little envelopes with different money in them, like 500 him, 300 there, and one of them had $10,000 in it. There was a total of thirty-six thousand dollars in that safe. Okay. A total of thirty. Now he didn't know nothing about the other ten. Even my old lady didn't know nothing about the ten. Mhm. Cause that was all hundreds, and I put them to the side. So we split the twenty. I think it was like twenty-five. I think I gave my old lady like two thousand, some twenty-five hundred, and then the rest of I gave. I split it with the. Okay. So I went and paid out the rim. I could have paid it all off, but I did not left for hundred and twenty five, hundred and fifty. Gave my brother a couple of dollars, gave my partner a couple of dollars, gave my ex a couple of dollars, the number that I was asking you about. Yeah. I gave them a couple of dollars and all the rest of it. I just I was scratch off and paid my rent. A couple of the bills got paid. And that was it. Mm-hmm. That's where that money went. Okay. That's the truth with the money. Okay. I don't know, no, that's why I, it, it pissed me off when they talking about a hundred and fifty something thousand dollars. Like, what the fuck? That's why y'all motherfucker be trying to up shit up the line and shit. Yeah. It was 30, like 37, 36, okay. yeah, like 36 thousand dollars. And you know, we was up front with you. We told you we was going to dump your phone. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we, we told you that. I don't know whether you believe this or not. Oh, yeah, I already know that y'all can go to the um, company and get out of the yeah. all the text messages. And, and Charles, honestly, you know, we both know that this is uh, this has somewhat been a poker game between us um, where you haven't been showing all your cards. We're not going to show all our cards. Um, and that takes some time, you know. Obviously, this is a serious case. I don't necessarily expect you to just give us 100% off the rip. That's why I'm not mad at you for lying about it. I will if y'all just go okay. ahead and get that DA to say, we'll, we'll get him on the phone. I won't get in the death penalty if he be straight up with everything. Okay. I'll tell y'all everything. And that's what it'll take, is being straight up. And I'll be straight up with everything, like everything. Everything, every little bit, every detail. I'll tell you everything. I tell you about the old murders. Mm-hmm. I know one of them. I'm 
don't know about the repercussion behind him. Okay, he was a drug dealer, so I don't know how his family might react, but not with me. I'm just saying, I don't know if they might try to retaliate out there and reach out and touch one of my family members. But I'm happy in that part because I'm in here. That's the only one I'm weary about, I ain't going to lie to you. I got you. I can understand that. I can respect that. I either you were right, love. Y'all, you had some names on that list. What name? Huh? On your phone. Y'all had some other targets. Oh. <laughs> you were right. Yeah. We had, we had a slew of names. We had a slew of people we were watching. We were going out there. Most of them were drug Some of them were just high-end people. Business mm. owners. Yeah. So, yeah, we were the one. Did you take some of that call in the DA? Yeah. Let me, uh... I tell you what, do you mind stepping out and having get him on the phone? We'll just kind of hit the pause button. All right. Uh, and have him. Now, do you want to come out there and talk with them, or you want to bring them in here on the speakerphone? Put them, bring them in here on the speakerphone. Yeah, then he can hear Oh, we can take him out there in the conference room. All right. Just talk to, just see what he wants to do. Okay. And then just talk with the sheriff, and, right. and then I want that to, then I'll just sit in here with him. Okay. Something to eat, man. I'm snacking. I'm taking coffee, man. I don't don't serve coffee. It's crazy. Sugar. Hey, buddy. You want me to step out there with you? No, you good. I'll stop. Don't run out of the door. Nah, I ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere right now. We'll get some room. Alright. Let me ask you this though, while we, you know, while we're waiting, um, does it is it this isn't getting into any of the facts about these cases, but when you make the decision to pull the trigger, is there a a um, do you is it instinctual? Is it planned in your mind, or is it? Uh, do you just accept that that's a possibility if th if it, things do not go hundred percent smoothly, or what 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 makes you make that decision? Anytime I do a lick or whatever. My mind frame is anything can go wrong. So, you know, it's like uh, I go in with the mentality that, and I hope I don't have to kill these people. But if I got to, if it's a charge between me and them, I plan on going home. Yeah. So, that'd be my mentality any time I do any lick. Okay. I don't go in there with intention. My intention is to get the money and go. So it's just basically if you encounter a what you perceive as a threat, you eliminate the threat. Yeah. Okay. Now, so before you would go hit a lick, what are some things that you do to prepare yourself mentally? Or what do you go about your normal routine? Or do you... Are you, do you do anything uh, behaviorally that's different from your normal self? Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Like, do you know, rest up? Do you? No, I don't rest up. I just, you know, it all depends on the circumstances, meaning what it is I'm about to do, uh, who the target is. Yeah. You know, if it's just a business owner or something, if it's a drug dealer like the one I was telling you about, uh, yeah. Bean, and if it's somebody like him, you know, me watching him every day, his normal routine, his every step, and me know he keep a gun on him. You know, I got to be at my time. You know, I got to wait, I got to think. Okay, what's the best time to catch him? You know, when he over at that house, when he over at that house, okay, uh, is somebody gonna be there? You know, I got to weigh in all these options. You know, about, okay, now, how this gonna play out? You know, and uh, a couple people I don't talk to, you know, that know him, you know, but like, 
You know, he um he a swift cat now. You know, I don't know how he act if somebody would draw down on him, cause ain't nobody never draw down on him. People know, you know, stole some of his stuff or something, but as far as put it, ain't no, ain't nobody ever put a gun in his face nah. and say, yeah, listen, are you gonna die? Yeah. So I would have been the first. Mm-hmm. And you know, I had hard enough to do it, and how I gonna do it? Yeah. And that's that's what you know. When it came to him. That's what was weighing on my mind, the possibilities. With him wrong, you know, like Dad Dez kept saying, you know, he ain't gonna buck, he gonna run. He probably take out running or something. See, you know, I don't know how I would've reacted. Me, personally, I probably would've shot him. Yeah. You know, just be honest with you, I probably would've shot him. Well, he's probably more of a threat. Yeah, but he also got more to lose. Yeah. By bucking. You know, you can lose your life. Then I know where your kids and your wife stay at. You know, we we were finna break in the house one time. Y'all moved like instantly the next day. That night, y'all packed up all y'all stuff and moved. So we did a lot of more research. Got a tracker, put it on your car. That kind of looked like that tracker too, but yeah. <laughs> and uh, we put it on your car. We followed you every move. Wrote down all your destinations where you stayed for a while, and that's how we find out your new spot where your old lady stayed. So that that was an ace in the hole for us. Mm -hmm. when, when I finally get him, you know, like brought on Buck, cause if I got if I can't get you, I'm gonna go out here to two one seven on Millie Avenue. You know you're gonna be like, what? How in the world they know? Yeah. So you know, okay, let them know. So, hey, it's on you. Your call. But like Dad said, you know, we probably would end up having to kill him anyway. Really? Yeah. That was probably that was already in the plan. We were gonna kill him. So. I, I okay. After it happens, after a lick, do you do you respond? So after a lick, where you don't have to pull the trigger. Do you behave any differently than if you do have to pull the trigger? Yeah, for after I hit a lick, the next 24 hours are crucial. The next 24 hours. Um, going home, watching the news, checking everything. Every time I hear a car drive by, I'm looking out the window. You know, I'm just, not necessarily, I guess you could say paranoid, but cautious. Yeah. And, uh, and that's at the end of the lick. Because just in case if I'm not slipped up, like I did on this one, you know, just in case I slipped up, left some, uh, accidentally grazed some, anything, you know, I'm always, the next 20, 24 to 48 hours, I'm alert. Okay. I'm alert and listening for everything, constantly looking at the news, Googling it, you know, seeing what they say, following the tracks. Does it bother you what they say in the news? Nah. If they, you know, if they, you know, whatever. One thing I know, the news ain't gonna put everything. You know, the news only gonna put what the sheriff tell them. Yeah. And the sheriff gonna try to deter them from what's really, what, what they really know they gonna put a little slight something different. Like in this case, with the wife, you know, they didn't have no suspect. And, but I also had an inside sight because uh, the stepdad worked there for about 10 years, so he was telling Dez everything. Okay. And Dez was telling me everything. But they ain't got nothing. They gonna go get a warrant for the camera. Well, they got the camera, but they ain't, um, they can't identify the dude. My stepdad can't identify him. So I'm like, okay, I'm steadily calming down. Then uh, he called me that sad, I think. And then he said, uh, they want all of dying on Monday. At nine o'clock, not Sunday. He told me that Sunday. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, but I got some warrants, man. I said, don't worry about it, bro. They lock you up, I got you, bro. I'm gonna come and get you, bro. So he said, man, I ain't worried about it. I said, all right, bro, just stay strong, man. Cause you know, I ain't, if they got the truck, they ain't got the tag. So don't worry about it. Yeah. You know, and I was just waiting on him. Cause I didn't even take the truck. I got up that morning, Monday morning. Like eight, about seven. Went to Middleville, but I took the car. Yeah. You know, so I just came back. Is that where your ex is at? Okay. No. Okay. Uh, I went to 
went down there to pay a ticket. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I went down there to pay a ticket. I thought you said you stopped by to see an ex or something. No, I stopped by and seen a friend, but she wasn't no ex. Okay. It's just some girl that well, had my attention, you know. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't mess with her, though, because she had AIDS, though, but I liked her, though. I got you. Yeah. And, uh, so I was down there helping her out because she uh, said she needed a new window for her car. So I think I gave her, what, $200? Okay. And, uh, that was it. Okay. Came back up there, went, went in the house for a minute, jumped in the truck, rode around for a while. Then I said, man, let me get this truck washed and I'm going to go put the thing. I was going to put it in the shed. The shed in the back of my house. I was going to okay. take everything out or you push it all the way to the back. Get me some planks and drive the truck in the shed and just let it sit. Okay. That's what I was. That's what my plan was to do. I was just waiting on dead to come. Give me some more input, but I was gonna put the truck up anyway. In the shed. Yeah, for a while, for a couple of weeks, and I was just gonna take my old lady to work. You know, bring her back, pick okay. her up, keep the car. What about? Does it bother you if? People talk negatively about you in the news media? No, I don't. I don't bother me. Do I you, don't. Do you uh, is it kind of a rush seeing your case in the news media? No, it, it really ain't. You know, I, I don't been on the news two times before. And I don't been labeled uh, danger. You know, back when I escaped, you know, yeah. they, they had me armed and dangerous, be aware. You know, they had me labeled a straight killer. Yeah. You know, and, uh, so at that time though, you know, I was I was laughing. I think I went through the courtroom, shot a bird or something at the, at the camera or something, you know. So, is there a difference between the Charles Rowland today and the Charles Rowland from then? A whole seven hundred and twenty different. Or what? What? What's the difference? Back then, I could say I really I cared in a sense. I cared. I cared more then than I do now. Now, man, I don't even care. You know, you know yeah. I don't even care. I don't want to die, but if I can't get past the death penalty, you know, I'm content with that. I feel. But I'm on. Um, I don't even care. You know, that's my mentality now. You know, I'm, I'm like, you know, even with my old lady, I love her. But I'm not in love with her. I understand. You know, and, um, but I just don't have love. You know. Why do you think that is? Just, uh, I'm just, you know, my life. You know, I'm like, like honestly, I can write a book about my life. Man. Yeah. The shit that I done did, experienced from streets, all the way from when I was three. I've been being bad, like really being bad, all the way from three. It was your dad? Do you know your dad? I know him, but I don't know him. You know, he left me when I was two. Uh -huh. I guess you could say all oh, hell bro live with me. I started getting in trouble with the law after my grandma died. Okay. She like raised you pretty yeah, much? Yeah, pretty much. She okay. did. She did. I was bounced. You know, I guess. I was reading a book in there. In my cell. And it's uh, The Life of Tupac Shakur. Yeah. I was reading a book of how he raised and he was bound from this, 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 and then I, you know, after he got older, the message he was sending out, it really touched me. Like, rather, it really touched me. Yeah. Yeah, it really did, cause it opened my eyes to a lot of things, and I can relate to it, cause I was the same way. Like, bounce. My mom, you know, I was bad, so yeah. my mom didn't want to keep me. And then she once told me, uh, she once told me, uh, I tried to kill you when I was pregnant with you. Because I didn't want to have you. And, you know, it's just... Things like that stick with you, don't it? Oh, yeah, it does. It's it been sticking with me, you know. I, I I had wrote a rap. She don't like it, though. You know, but I had wrote a rap one time when I was in prison last time. And I let her hurt it. I know it kind of touched her, but... You know, I was trying to explain to her, like, hey, you know, you wonder why I'm like a man. You know, you just got to think of all the shit I've been through in my life, bro. You know, like... Man, I've been through a lot, bro. Well, your upbringing has a big impact with, you know, into adulthood. You know what I mean? And, and there's no doubt. Um, I've been through a lot. 
careers and been through a lot. How and tough was that? It was, it really wasn't tough, you know, being honest with you. You know, being honest with you, you know, in prison, you know, and not bragging, but, you know, I ran like whole prison, like the whole camp, you know, then nothing moved, you know. Is that hard to do? No, uh, it's all, it's not about fear, it's about respect. Yeah. No, no, I understand that. Yeah, yeah you know, uh, it's about respect. You know, I gained a lot of respect at the prison. You know, and it was Jack T. Rutledge. It's one of them, and then Phil State Prison. You know, that's another one that I kind of control. You know, because you know all the officers liked the man. You know, I pretty much had pretty much say out of camp. Was it hard to uh, manipulate the prison guards? Nah, they, 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 man, they sweet as cotton. The toughest one would be the sweetest one. Just got to know how to, you know, just got to say the right thing. And, you know, hey, they, they the toughest one, be the sweetest one. All the ones walk around like they, I write your ass up and all that. Yeah. You ain't gonna do shit. You just going through shit at the house. I'm gonna hear that shit, you know. They said, somebody sit back and chop it up with them, talk to them, so they can tell them all their problems. And yeah, man, did that. And we kick it and did that and third and that thing, you know. Man. Fucked up of him, man. One thing leads to another, that thing, you no. Know? They get invested in your story. Yeah. They get invested in you, get invested in your story, and, you know, you giving them the sympathy side of it, and that thing, you know, they, man, I wish I, sure wish I could help you out, man. I, wish, man. I just need a cigarette every now and then to smoke. And, uh, all right, I'll bring you a couple of them. One thing leads to nothing. That thing, you know, they're bringing cans in, and, a can? What do you mean a can? Can of tobacco. Tobacco, okay. Yeah. Like some rolling papers. And yeah, a can of, can of tobacco. I dealt with about $18. Mm-hmm. In prison, man. About $3,000. Is it really? So what? how would that happen? Somebody would put the money, like, you give them the tobacco after they put, their family puts money on your books or something? Well, right now, everybody dealing with uh, cash app and, yeah. and money. Well, not money. Yeah, some people still do money grab, but everybody dealing with cash out, like cash out and um, money pack reloads. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, green dot. Green dot. Yeah. Yeah. But everybody doing cash out now. Cash out now. Save the world. So, what about other? So, how 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 hard is it to deal with the other inmates? Because obviously they got to respect you. And you've got to have the history or the reputation to be respected. Yeah. And so, especially a man in your, at your age, or you're doing some time, you're not going to get loyalty by force or intimidation. You've got to get it by influence. So what do you do to get that influence over... Now, I, I'm not just talking about these young 90 baby kids in there, you know what I mean? They look at you and, you know, well, I don't even know if, you know, they're they're kind of a different group. But, yeah, like, yeah. if you got somebody that's, that's, how do you get the respect of other people who are respected in the streets? It's, uh, how do I get respect in the chain gang? Yeah. From other people that, in the chain gang, respect them. Yeah. I mean, because to run a prison, you've got to have everybody. You've got to have yeah. the respect of everybody. Yeah. It, it, uh, you know... I'm speaking from me and Spain, like at Jack T. Rutledge, uh, you know, uh, I was affiliated. You were G. Yeah. And, you know, uh, the little young cats they had running around, uh, they was on some, you know, not no really wild stuff, but, you know. I know what you mean. And then me, being the person I was, sit back and talk to them. A lot of people used to come and ask me. You know, a lot of questions because I had, you know, did a little time. So, and then as time progressed on, you know, I don't have to slap a few people. And then I always had me two or three boys with me. You know, not boys, but two or three partners. Yeah. You know, that that would, that would rock with me. So if anything ever pop off, you know, and uh, I'm a mediator. Uh-huh. Meaning if something pop off, I'm usually the one to jump up like, hey, let me holler at you real quick, man. You know, and smooth things out. Yeah. You know, so a lot of people start looking at that and, 
and you get respect like that. Like you, you ain't always the first one. Like, oh shit, let go slap this man. No, you look smooth. Hey, come on, let me holler at you real quick. Man. You gotta be a leader. Yes, yes, you know. And it, it ain't always about the buff, buff. It's about you know, hey man, you know that ain't even that, that ain't even other way. And then plus, you know, with my reputation as the head cook, you know. And, you know, the steward is going around saying good things, you know, a lot of officers saying good things. So now you got administration looking at you. And, you know, administration, you know, you're like, okay, that's a stand-up guy, that's a stand-up yeah. inmate. So I can go to them and be like, hey, Cap. You know, and they used to call me Mac Town. I'm like, what's up, Mac Town? You know, they come from the captain and all that. I said, man, I need somebody to move, man. You know, like, he's like, well, is he one of your boys or something? I'm like, nah, it ain't like one of my homeboys, man. He's going through some stuff down there in the dorm, and he need to be such and such spot, man, you know, keep down the airway. I know you don't like confrontation at the camp, so. Day or two later, they move. Huh. And the inmates see that. You know, some people might look at it like, this nigga snitching. But once again, that all kind of respect, you know. Mean well, around the camp, you know they know. Nah, he ain't no snitch, man. You know he just he just know how to. He making moves. Yeah, you know he just know how to do what he do. Well, so, that's that's pretty much. You, know, you don't get things accomplished by being an asshole. Nah. Mm. And that's in any area. Any situation, anything. You know, it's all about respect. And I try to tell them, little young boy, when I was on the street, you know, y'all walking around here with these AK forty seven and all that intimidating. You know, I had a homeboy in prison, man. Matter of fact, when I was in TC, I ran the TC too. Uh -huh. <laughs> when I was in the Hadwood house out there in Buford, Georgia, I was the only cat from making it now. And I went there and locked the whole camp down. I was taking cigarettes, phones, all that from the Hadwood out to the main prison. And, yeah. and everybody was like, how in the world is this man doing this, man? But you know, I got my way. Is it hard to get stuff in a prison? Nah, it ain't. It's all about, you know, what you're doing. Like, in, at the when I was at the TC, I was using the food. You know, the dude in the prison had the phone, so they were calling me and like, look, man, I'm going to send you $800. Get me five pack of cigarettes and a phone. That's that's less than $30. So I done made 700 and something dollars just doing that. So how, how do you get it in the facility, though? Oh, I was getting the food that, like, if we got oatmeal or grits, they'll always send an extra pan. And we got to send it back. Uh -huh. So I done wrapped it up, stuck it inside them. Oatmeal? Oatmeal or the grits or whatever, extra. I stuck it inside them. I wrapped up tight as it can be, small as it can be. So when they bring it back, when they take it back, and when we go through the gate, they pull everything out. Look, they just see a whole pan of oatmeal, a whole pan of grits. All the while, they load it down with foam, cigarettes, dip. So when they take it back to the back gate, people at the back gate get it. I got you. They got extra stuff, which the inmate in the kitchen, I already know what time it is. So he get it, take it back in. Take it to the pot sink. Pot sink man get it. They rinse it all off, send it to the dome. They call me back again. Hey, appreciate that I got it. It's a lot of moving parts. Yeah, it is. It is, but you know, that's, that's sometimes you have to do it like that. Sometimes you have to do it like that. You know you know, I had me a man that was on working on the detail. You could drive the van. I used to pay him. The uh, CO? No, he was a uh, he was an inmate. Oh, uh, he, he would drive. Yeah, they had the inmates driving the other inmates to work. Oh, uh, okay. So you know, I get him the numbers to the thing. Stop at the store, man. Get me ten pack of cigarettes. You know, keep a hundred and fifty or two hundred dollars. Bring me the rest. I used to walk around that TC three, four thousand dollars on me, man. Cash? Yeah. Walk around that TC. I got to fight. That's the only reason I, I got. I, I, I got. Um, I left that TC. I got to fight. What made you get in the fight? Cause I had a little partner. And um, he locked up now. I talked to him before I got locked up. I had a little partner, a little white guy named Frank. And uh, I think he had got high on some. Synthetic. Uh -huh. That's what they were smoking then. Yeah, I got high on some synthetic. And uh, I don't know, he just got flipped at the mob, man. We sitting down and I'm telling I said, man, I don't know what your problem is, bro, but 
man, go on. He said something. I said, man, I love your homeboy. And he said, fuck your love. <laughs> and I just still sat at the table shaking my head. And he said something else. And he picked a newspaper up out my hand. And like he was going to throw it at me or hit me or something. So I jumped up, hit it, bah. He fell back against the wall and he charged me again. And then I hit him two more times, bah, bah. And then he just fell out. Uh -huh. By the end, of the in the booth scene. Man. Did you ever fight an officer? Uh, no, I ain't never get to fight no officer. I don't have beef with officer. The only, the only incident I had with officer was when I escaped. The yeah. Country. Well, that was more to get away, wasn't it? Yeah, that's how it was. You know, he came in. He came in and talked to me after he finally came back and asked me why. You know, like desperation, man. It, it, you know, officer King was cool too, man. But yeah. it didn't matter who it was. Yeah. You know, my mind was set. I'm finna get out of this kind of jail. Yeah, I got you. I went straight to my old lady. With a lot of these cases in Macon right now, or anywhere, do you think that there are other people such as yourself, or do you think a lot of them are one-on-one -on -one issues? Mm -hmm. Or do you think there's a, a handful of people responsible for the majority of the... A lot of these killers are making now, these young boys. Yeah. Stupid beef. Try the bitches, they fighting over bitches, or I got the arguing, you know. These young boys don't know how to fight. Man. Yeah. They quick to pick up a pistol now, so they ain't finna fight. So what you tell me, you only pick up a pistol, though, on a, on a lick. I pick up a pistol only for protection. It's like a tactical thing for you. Yes. I just take it just in case. So, for example, it's kind of like... Law enforcement, essentially. Like, if I'm planning to do a search warrant on, 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 for whatever, say it's a drug warrant, obviously we're going to have a lot of firepower. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be right back with you, okay? All right, yes, sir. Yeah. We're working on it, Mr. Boyd. DA might be bugging. Huh? DA might be just trying to get them on the phone and what have you. Whew. They got it cold in here again. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. I deal with that in my cell every day. I need me a jacket. That's one of those things. Why they have it so cold? Like I don't know why they must have this AC cranked up. That's crazy though. First, you know, they say Corona living cold. So why would you keep it cold? Yeah, I need me a coat. Man. Give me a little space here. Sure, wish I can get one. I was supposed to get out of the hole on the 16th and go to population, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, all, that's all I need. I'm good where I'm at, to be honest with you. As long as I can make stoke, get out there on that phone, and uh, get me some books to read, man, they can leave me where I'm at, man. Cause they tried, when they put first put me in from the high max I was in, which was right. in the hole, so they moved me next door to where I got a little bit more access yeah. to the phone. A little more movement. Yeah, they tried to put me in a cell with some dude, and he was like, no, nah, man, I don't want no room, man. So the officer was like, no, nah, he got to go in now. So I'm sitting there listening for a while. I'm like, man. Yeah, I think a lot of times they don't want nobody in the room, dude. Yeah, so, you know. They want their own suite. I finally asked the dude, like, bro, you cool? He said, no, nah, I ain't good. So I said, well, I ain't going in the office. You know, and I'm like, we going to take care of See, y'all saying that. Then I get in here, and we get to fight. Then what? Because y'all don't want to listen. You know what I'm saying? Y'all care about it getting the move did. Right. And this man sent him telling y'all he don't want me in here. Right. So you already know that's probably going to be some problem. Yeah. That like, you might you know, can prevent, you know, from the, the get-go. So they, they end up moving me to another cell. You in there with somebody or you by yourself? No, I'm by myself. Oh, you no, by yourself? They can bring you rather be by yourself or with somebody? It don't, oh, it don't matter. matter to you. As long as I got some books, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> them books help me keep my mind, you know. Right. Right. Thinking all crazy. Maybe they're going to move you in the population on the 16th. Yeah, probably, you know. Somebody told me that they usually keep, once you get out super max, they put you on max, and then they from max, they put you on right. regular. Keep stepping you down by yeah. the way you act. Yeah, yeah. but, you know, I ain't, yeah, I ain't getting, I ain't getting them for no problem. I don't even have to talk to them. I don't even have to talk to them. I ain't got nothing to say to them, you know. Can y'all get books off store go? Well, we can order books, but somebody from the street has to order from the publisher. I got you. But they got a little library. 
I don't never know when they come. You know, I, I just got through reading the last book I had, and that cost somebody left it in the cell. Well, you can ask them about it, though. You know, when one of the officers come around, ask them about the library. I, I don't. I mean, I don't know how they work over there. Yeah, you know, you can you can ask them if this. You know, if you can check out books from the library. I went on. They got a little kiosk down there. That's the end of time you ask them. That's what they say. Go to the kiosk. Go oh, to the okay. kiosk. So I went to the kiosk yesterday. I tried to call. I tried to call home. I got to see how to get money from my account to my phone so I can call people. I tried to call them and collect. The people like this phone number can't accept collect call. This phone number can't yeah. accept collect call. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, you, you might have to ask one of the officers when they come around how you can get that done. Yeah, I need to transfer some money. Money off my account. Cause they, they should be able to tell you that without having to get on the. Get, and I don't know what their rules are, but. Yeah. You know, I mean, if I was the officer coming around and you asked me how I did something, you know, if it ain't something illegal, I mean, I, I wouldn't have a problem with telling you. So, did it get y'all hit 11,000 back? Huh? Did it get y'all hit money back? Nah. No, that shit probably gone. That girl probably not spent that shit. But I know he left it with her. Mm. So, y'all yeah, pretty much probably can kiss that money goodbye. But that's how much it was, though. That like 36,000. That ain't the biggest lick I done hit, though. Right. Would you tell us 90 something, I believe? Yeah, 96. Then 76? 72. 72. Yeah, then, you know, a couple 40s. You know, that 36, you know, I think like 13, you know, 11, yeah. uh, you know. If you love, you know, a couple bands here and there. You know, nothing major. <clears throat> That gun that was under your spare tire in your truck, was that yours or? A gun? You remember we had told you about we had found a gun under your spare tire in the back of your truck? That day we'd come up there? Yeah, I found a gun in my truck. I was up under the spare tire. Mm -hmm. What kind of gun was it? Some type of revolver. Mm -hmm. That went, that was, nah. I know a revolver, but that wasn't in my truck. That's where it was at, and I ain't to say somebody didn't throw it somebody in there. Somebody had to throw that in there, because that was not in my truck. Yeah. I kind of didn't feel so. No, that wasn't in my truck. That thing was in the end. But I'm like, that revolver was in my house. It was, it was like, it looked like it had been sanded down or something. I can't remember. Yeah. I, it, it may have been. Yeah, like, like eight shooter. Yeah, yeah. Eight shooter, small. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was that was in my house. So that's why I'm like, I don't know how in the hell y'all think I might have got on my truck. So one of them, one of them investigators, uh, them search people done did that shit, trying to make it look like I done had, so they're trying to implement that truck so bad. Yeah. And yeah, that shit was in my house. That shit ain't, that shit went in on my ground. That was on my, that was on my nightstand. Cause when y'all said y'all didn't find it in the house, I was like, man, my old lady grabbed a gun. Cause that, that's what I, was, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was trying to tell the boy that was watching my truck to go down there and tell the brother-in-law. Man, get them boots out of there and get that gun off that nightstand. But, you know, he's so doofy. He told me, you want me to call your brother? What the fuck, my brother way up there in Atlanta? Nigga, what the fuck he gonna do? Yeah. I need to get that shit out of my house, which I was gonna do that. Do you remember what Dez's phone number was whenever he was, uh, like, uh, during the time this happened? During the time this happened? Yeah. It's up on my, it's in my car log. How did you have him listed in there? I got two deads. I got D-E-Z and then I got D-E-Z-Z. -Z. The D-E-Z-Z -Z is the one that I was, we would call him number four. Right. That's, That's Wayne Air. Yeah. With the two Z's is Wayne Air. Yeah, both on the same. But I think the one up top was the one he was, it was his auntie phone. Right. His What's his phone. aunt's name? I don't know. I think that was just her number that he was right. using when he was staying with her. Right, I got you. Yeah. Then when she moved out of that apartment, he moved to a motel for a while, and then from there he moved. What's to his girlfriend's name? I have no the idea. The one he's with and then lives over in that nice house. Yeah, I have no idea. That's his baby mama. I got you. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't forget her name. He told me her name, but I have no idea. 
Y'all check that the crystal thing? The what now? The crystal thing? Or y'all just gave that to be okay? The crystals? I meant the crystal cream. Crystal cream. cream. I think he with the agent there was talking with B up on it. Yeah. So. Yeah. There you go. All right. Y'all. I don't want to make sure. What's up? Now I'm asking him that y'all check out that crisp cream thing. Yeah, we do. Um. Oh, you wanted a cup of coffee, didn't you? Yeah, but I know. Yeah. Can you can you see yeah, this? Yeah, we some. Just. You think I need to make some? Or? Yeah. Y'all check out the Krispy Kreme thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all find the safe and everything? Well, this is we're having to work with other folks, you know, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. I mean, you know, so one of, one of my, you know, uh, and just knock on the door. you know, I work a lot of murders. Um, and, I try to be as good as I can with it, and so I, I do like to hear your perspective and, and thoughts on how you make your decisions and, and those sort of things. When, if you have, how, I, I guess what I'm getting at is, we got some room? Yes, you okay. got some you bump on the door. Sure. Okay, good deal. You said sugar, right? Yeah. Okay. How does it feel? Do you do anything different? You know, kind of talk about like the day after. You checking Google News and stuff. Yeah. What about like a week after? Uh, well, once, once I know I'm in the clear, uh, then I resume. I then move on to the next. Is it hard with after that first one or two? Did it, was it hard making that decision? Like, did it weigh on your mind, like guilt or anything like that? No. Well, I'm gonna tell you, the first two times I did, yeah, okay. it did. Because the second, the second one, I knew the person, and the, okay. person, the person trusted me. Like, yeah. The person trusted me with his life. Yeah. And I'm the one taking. You know, not the sign arrogant or anything. But no, I understand. Yeah, so. Uh, that one bothered you? Yeah, it did. It did. It did. It did. It bothered me because it, uh, but after that, nah, I, okay. I just shoot you in. I'll be going before you drop. Um, so we've, we've talked to the DA's office, okay? Um, and I'm just going to shoot straight with you, okay? I'm not, you know, um. At this point, so it's too early for them to tell us 100 percent how they're going to pursue further with, with that. Now, a lot of essentially what we're going to do is after we talk today, you know, we're going to have a conversation with them and tell them how forthcoming you've been with us and what you know uh, our thoughts are on that. Um, you know, there's some things that they've got, and honestly, before they make a full decision on that, they've got to have all the facts of the case, and, and they know quite a bit, but they're not here on the interviews, and they haven't worked the crime scene, so um, there's going to have to have to be a meeting. Um, on what case? That case? The white case? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, so, from what you're telling me, you, you're saying if you, if... You can say that th that they will not pursue the death penalty. You will tell us about a total of eight other murders, right? Yeah. And then full facts, hundred percent truth about those. Hundred percent. You can go get the lie detector test. Okay. I'll stick my finger on that. Okay. Um, full facts. And 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 honestly, I mean, you know, my end goal is to solve cases. So if you're asking me what I'd like to do, I want I want cases solved. Okay. I can't. Sp I can't say what the the you know I can't guarantee you anything. I can't promise you anything. Okay, yeah. But what I can what I can tell you that I will do and what Major Long will do is be uh, relate to them that I, I truly I you know here's the thing that I picked up on with you. Um, uh, you're big on respect and. You, you, you really seem to be a man of your word where if you're going to say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. 
um, not only are you respected, but you're respectable. Does that make sense? Okay. And so, um, but for us to do that, we need to have some of these wrinkles ironed out on the white case. Okay. So let's on the on the money. I want to make sure we get that ironed out. Okay. okay. There's a black safe within the safe. No, it was a black safe. Black pad. No, that safe wasn't even out. That was on the floor. That was the, a little. Another black safe. Yeah, that's the one I had the money. In. Okay. I picked the big one, but it wasn't in the them gone. Okay. Yeah. So that's the truth about the gun. There wasn't no gun. Uh, with that safe, there's only guns in there. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Gun. Oh, perfect. Uh, sugar. You got some sugar? Alright. Yeah, I'll be mm -hmm. How many you want? Two? Uh, two or three. Two or three sugar. Yes, uh, yeah, that, that was true. One number gun. Okay. But now, this little black safe, how big was it? So a little black. Black yeah, gun. So. Something like that? No, it was bigger. Probably, probably like an ice cooler. Like one of those little okay. red and white blue ice cooler. Yeah. Yeah. Did you take it with you? Yeah, I took it with me. Okay. Um, I ain't up throwing it in the tray, but it's in the dumpster, though. You know. Okay. Well, it's probably gone by now. Yeah, it's probably at pound. Uh, landfill? Yeah, yeah, landfill. So, within that black safe was some envelopes. Yeah, it was one big brown envelope with probably about 40 or 50 white envelopes. Okay. And it said something about rent rent or something. So I guess he had some properties or something. People were paying him rent. Okay. And and they had all them in the, in the individual envelopes. And then he had uh, like a a folder. Uh-huh. Like a manila folder? Make sure. Yeah, it was like one of them fold over folders. And it had uh, and it had uh, it just had some paperwork in it. And then that's the one that had the envelope with the $10,000 in it. Okay. Was there anything on that envelope? Nah, it was not one in on that envelope. It just I had the ten thousand dollars in there. And that was it. I had to So total how much was in that safe? It was like thirty like thirty six thousand. Thirty six thousand. Yeah. You gave how much to Des? I would have told him it was like twenty. Okay. Like twenty four, twenty five. So I gave him eleven thousand. Two hundred and sixty dollars? And then I told him, uh, it was like that, I'm And then um, I was like, look, it was like 24, 25. So I gave my old lady like two, three, which I did give her 250, 2,500. Okay. And then uh, I was like, uh, so I'm splitting the rest with you. And he's like, that's cool. He said, shit, I'm finna quit now. <laughs> so I guess, I guess he ain't never had any more money, I guess. So. Quit over $11,000? <laughs> no. <laughs> what you gonna do with $11,000? Hey, he talking about going to buy a car and... You know, get his old lady a thousand dollars and get his daughter like five hundred. And he's gonna go get him a little car so we can, you know, switch your cars. You know, instead of riding around in my truck and all that, we're gonna get another car. Invest and... back into the business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> so he's gonna go buy that cheap car and we're gonna use that to go by the let's go by the product bed, something different. I mean, okay. You know, he he definitely ain't had no money before then, have he? No, nah, not no big money. He, he ain't had no. I, th I think he was on drugs, to be honest with you. Kyle. What you think, I'm smoking rock or? Nah, I mean, probably snorting powder or something. Yeah. Uh, you know, he, uh, I know he was telling me about some lakes he was hitting, getting big old things. The one, one house we was watching was the big drug that I was telling you about. Dean? Uh, yeah. We, uh, we were supposed to win in his house, because he done bought a bunch of houses. And he was working on this one house all the time. <laughs> so we were supposed to go in there. But we didn't, we couldn't have, we didn't, we didn't go in there. So then the next day he told me, hey, I went in that hot lab and I, and I'm like, yo. He's like, yeah, man, he, you know, he just had some powder in a bowl, but I ain't messed with it. And I was like, man, you a lie. And he's like, no, nah, man, I ain't messed with it because I ain't want him to know we been in there. But after that, he never said nothing about going in the hot no more. So I, you know, use my head, like, yeah, he got that powder, like, ain't no one in the head, not dead. Dead ain't finna leave that shit in there. He all about the money. So if he got it, sold it, or snorted it, he got it. Yeah. So, you know, and everybody used to tell me, like, man, I don't know why you fucking with that nigga, man. That nigga shady, man. And, you know, a lot of his own cousin and all of them used to tell me that. 
Oh, you know, you know, got a bunch of laptops out of licks. Yeah. I, I give them to him. He take them to his cousin. And his cousin do whatever he do with them. Know, but I don't never see no money. I don't never see the laptop no more. <laughs> I got you. So, you I got you. Now, what did Dez do with his money? Do you know? Did he get, I don't know. Well, he's in jail right now, so. Yeah, like I said, I, I um, guess he's buying honey buns and. Yeah, his old, he gave his old lady. I probably had, he probably gave either he gave his old lady or his mama. Did he say anything about getting a new cell phone? Nah, he ain't say nothing about getting a new cell phone. Yeah, got one. Yeah. Oh yeah, but then I don't know that old one. Then I don't know. Okay. You know that that like I said that D E Z Z. That's the number we always text on. Okay. Um. And listen, I get, I, I, I completely understand you holding this card back. Okay. What card? This, the swag card. Oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Yeah, I kill. Him. Okay. All right, that's going to kill y'all. So you're going to tell that DA if he want the rest of the murder. Yeah, I kill. Him. Okay. I appreciate you being straight with me. Yeah, I kill. Him. I shot him. Okay. It went and it went no intention, like I say. I know, I believe that. Yeah, no, I, I tried. Think... I tried to leave. Like I tried to leave. Yeah. I was headed to my truck. They pulled up on me, and I'm like, "What the world, man?" And then, uh, you know, me like, man, what the fuck? Thank you. You know, I don't. I don't I'm like, I don't know these folks gonna call the police. So where did you where did you have to shoot them at? I'm like, right down the street, same place. Everything happened. What I said it's just that I was the one that them. Okay. Everything that happened. It happened right there in the street? Yeah, right there. Where my truck parked there. I told you, they pulled and up. And what about back there where uh, the man, the husband, Mr. White, was placed? Oh, no, nah, that's where when I shot the second time, when I shot the lady, it jammed. Yeah, I know. It, remember I said about that cheap gun jam? <laughs> yeah, it jammed, so when I cocked it, yeah. the live round fell out. I yeah. Said, I just went to look for it. So you shot her back there where Mr. White was? No, I shot both of them in the street. Okay. Yeah, I sat both of them right there. Okay. Then I rolled the truck around and pulled it over there. I was hoping that it'd go in the bushes, but it didn't. It got right there by the bushes and stopped. How did you ride the truck? I just opened the door. I was using his foot to hit the gas in the brake. Okay. And then you uh, moved him in the wood line? Yeah. Did you take anything off of him, wallet, anything like that? Yeah, I had a wallet. That's why I knew the $1,500 in there. Okay. Where's the wallet at? Uh, last time I seen it, it was, uh, I cut all the cars and everything up. So, Did you? Yeah, I cut all that up. I cut all that up. Did you cut his license up? Yeah, I cut everything. Okay. I cut everything up. And this is in, it was in the trash can. That's why I was like, how, did I, how was I stupid enough to leave that check in this trash can? Because I cut it up in the kitchen, threw it in the trash can in the kitchen, took the bag out, put it in the back of my truck. Okay. And uh, me and I with the check trying to explain to my old lady because me and Dad got to talk. So the check came from the wallet? Yeah. Okay. So me and, me and, my, old, me and, my, when me and Dad got to talking, and I was like, he was like, uh, how can you gonna explain what you were doing now? And, uh, and I was like, and that's when I came up with the story, I was going to do some work for him. I said, I got a blank check. I can just fill it out like he paid me. Oh, I got you. And then that's when my old lady was like, man, stop fucking with that nigga dead, man. Don't do no dumb shit like that. Because okay. dead was like, dead was like, report the truck stolen. I'm like, man, it's 2021, man. You can't steal no motherfucking shit without no motherfucking key, nigga. Yeah. So he was like, well, just say you had a spare key. He like, look, I'll come and steal the truck tonight. And then I'm going to go dump it somewhere. And then you just tell him somebody stole the truck you didn't know. And I like, I said, man, listen to what you're saying. I'm in this house. Somebody must stole that truck. This shit happened Friday. I don't report it to Sunday. So what the fuck they gonna say? Well, you ain't been outside since Sunday, since Friday. So you got a man convicted of armed robbery who has a truck matching the description of the suspect vehicle, happened to have the truck stolen. <laughs> <laughs> I so, mean, I, I like, man, you don't even listen to what you're saying, dude. You want me? I don't think he was thinking about it. My name not getting in now because he know it would have linked it back to him. So that's yeah. the only thing he was worried about. Me not getting on, then. So so when Dez tells me it's just you and him, that's the truth then? Yeah, it is. Okay. Nobody yeah. else will no. Okay. So 
Now, you know, like I said, we, we recovered a, a projectile down there when he was found. Yeah, a live we, round. Yeah, I told you that. I mean, but no, not just a live round, a bullet too. Now, did you fire another round over there? No, I didn't. Okay. I blown two shots fired. Okay. Two shots fired. Okay. That's now, where'd you, where'd you get that gun from? That was my old lady gun. Where'd you, would you go get it at somebody's house or it hurt? Was it in the house where y'all were at or what? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what to be riding, but, you know, she got the gun because uh, I think, what was happening then? She got it a couple of years ago. Oh, where we were staying at, because we were staying in, uh, with, uh, uh, I had a townhouse on Ingleside, and she moved in with me. So, you know, I was like, I don't want y'all out like there by yourself, so she went about the gun. Okay. She used to keep it in the car, and, you know, me driving, her nephew driving the car sometimes, so she started keeping it in the house. You know, you know when I knew that swag didn't exist. Yeah. When we were talking, remember he was he was talking about waiting in the wood line, and the man stepped out, and it, before he got in his truck, you know what I'm talking about. The man stepped out before he got in his truck. And before he left, he said, "Man, I wish I would have just went up there and put a gun in his face." That was my opportunity. I missed my chance. Oh, to my when he was on uh, yeah. on the back, yeah, <laughs> on the back porch. On the back porch. <laughs> you didn't say nothing about Sway. You said that was my opportunity. That was yeah, my chance. Yeah, because I did tell y'all that I passed the gun back to him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you say you know you gave the gun to somebody, but then that you didn't say that was our chance. You said that was my chance. <laughs> so right then is what I knew. You but got, got a good perception. You know what I mean. So, but you know. Like you said, we, you know, I'm, we, you ain't gonna show all our, all your cards, and we don't show all of ours. But um, I do be, appreciate you being straight with me. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I knew that eventually I felt like we'd get to this point. But you know, I know you ain't gonna just come out and tell it off the rip. I wouldn't expect you to. Um. So. You were, you were walking down the road, and they did stop and check on you, right? Yeah. What did they say to you? Nothing. You broke down? I'm like, yeah. And now that I, you know, like I said, when I was in the cell, I was thinking, like, damn, why, why didn't I just tell them my old lady or somebody would come in? Then they probably would have just drove off. And then I was like, damn, why didn't I think of that? Because I wasn't thinking. I was thinking, about, they don't call the police. Uh, I know he see his screen. I know he see the camera pointed up. And now you go, you got this lonely black guy walking up the street. So I was like, he gonna call the police. Police on the way. So it was just a quick reaction. So, did you ever go back to your truck, or were you inside the truck when you shot him? No, I had, well, I, like I said, when I got back, I went back to my truck. All that really happened. Okay. But I went back to the truck, acting like I was gonna get in. So, okay. So you got in, you got out. Yeah. Went up like you are about to get back in. And then... Okay. And she went to screaming, and I was like, oh, shit. I got out and went around, and bah. Okay. Yeah. Did you shoot him from, like, the window, or? What you mean? So, like, if he's in the driver's seat, did you, were you standing at, outside the window? No, I was sitting in the back seat on her, behind her. Okay. So you got back in the truck? Yeah. Okay. And then I just shot him, bah. And then you got out. And shot her. And did you get out on behind on the door behind the passenger seat? No, I got out right behind her. Okay, so that's what I got out on the right around and then shot her. Uh -huh. Is her window down? Halfway up, yeah. Okay. Is that when that back glass shattered? Okay. And, and the, the truck came. So I act like I was talking to him. Mm hmm and So they passed on by and then I went around uh, you know, trying to think, 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 think. Like, should I pull him out now and get in the truck and take off? But then I'm like, dead weight. I ain't got time to be rocking with this man. Somebody come by. So I just, I'm going to use his feet. So I open the door up, turn the wheel all the way, put his feet on the gas, pack his fingers on the brake. That's so I moved his feet off the brake, put it on the gas, and it shot around. So I went and jumped back in my truck and let the truck roll onto the back. I rolled onto the house in my truck. So you went to the house first? Yeah. Okay. And that's when I realized, you know, I broke the black wind, went in there, realized you got this safe. 
and they had, they had a dial and then they had the keys. I yeah. Like, okay, it's a key. Went to looking around, looking for the keys. Tried a couple of keys, couldn't find them, so went back up there. Jumped back in my truck, drove back up there. And that's when I um, seen them in the bushes, so I bagged the truck back. Got the keys. After I bagged the truck back, I just let it sit down, put it in the pole, got the keys. I seen, went back to the house in my truck again. And they're still in the truck? Yeah. Went back to my house again, went back to their house again, tried to try the keys. Still no luck, couldn't find the key. So then I went back to the truck again. Jumped back in my truck, went back up there. Then that's when I thought, dang, cameras, man, I know that whole thing get my damn tag. So that's when I turned the truck sideways after I bagged it in the mine by mistake. And I turned the truck around, pulled him out, pulled him in the bushes, and jumped in the truck, drove their truck back to the house. Okay. Is that when you loaded the guns and money up in her truck? Yeah, in the back of her truck. And I thought I was in there for a while and finally. So she's still in the truck now? Yeah, she's still in the truck. Then I picked a lock after I seen a file. I tried all the keys, then none of them worked. Died one turn because it was on the lock. So I seen a file. I got it. Playing with it, playing with it. Put them, pull them, pull them, twist them. While I was playing with it, I was turning the lock. Putting them tumblers in place. And yeah. then once they finally click, it hit. I'm like, what the fuck? Fucking gun. I just knew it was up there. We had stacks and stacks of money. Cause that was the nephew told. Yeah. I mean, that was the son told uh, dear. That he keep a lot of money in the safe. So I opened that thing and seen all that shit. Like, what the fuck, man? So I took all the guns out of the safe and put them on the bed. And we just went to looking around. Like, man, it got to be another safe in somewhere. It's got to be. I just had to look over there up under the, like a little table or something. Lift it up. Bam. Grabbed it. I ain't even not waiting for no key because it's small. I, I just took it. How'd you get into it? I slammed. Or at, at your house? Yeah. Did your girl, you know, she know about all this with shavers? She said, you, she helped you get in the safe? No. She was laying in bed the whole time. She know the plan to go hit the house? No, she ain't know. Okay. Mm. All right. And then... The only thing she knew, I told her I have some money for her. Because I think uh, the cable bill would do 500 some dollars. Now, I could have went to pay or went to work. Yeah. But, you know, that wouldn't have never been, you know, no good, no big, big money. Not like I wanted, so... Well, where, where's the where's the gun now? Oh, I threw it. Where'd you throw it? It's on the Rocky Creek somewhere. I'll be honest with y'all. I can't remember where. Did you take it apart? Or? No, I did take it apart. He did take it apart? Yeah, he did take it apart. Yeah. At your place? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right there upon my shed. Do you know where at on Rocky Creek? Mm-hmm. Like I say, I threw the bits and pieces, the smaller pieces, the chamber, all that was in bags. And I threw that in the trash cans, you know, going to the different stores. And as I, as I was going down Rocky Creek, I just chomped that bitch out of my Probably over there by the church, wherever wooded area is, that's all I know. Like coming down Rocky Creek. Probably when I passed that church, I don't know, I can't remember. I just know I just chunked them. What about, uh, uh, are there any more guns other than the ones that we found? Or that you told us about? Oh, no. Mm. Not that, that, that was it. It was, it was eight rifles and two guns. The a 357 and then that little silver one, the one okay. you just asked me about. Alright, so that's all the guns that were in the safe? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Eight rifles. That's why y'all saw my seven rifles. I said, my oh, eight rifles. Okay. So, after you loaded up in the white truck, you drive out, right? Which way'd you go? Oh, back to my truck. Okay. Put it in your truck. Yeah. And then what did you do? Finna and finna get ready to take the truck back to the house, but then I, I seen that abandoned house. Okay. So that's when I bad back, drove up and uh, got out, finna leave it, and I was like, no, I'm about to see that either. So I rolled on around to the back. Okay. And I just left. Okay. And then you had to walk back to get to your truck? Yeah, right across the street. Okay. 
So did you was it parked closer to the road or parked back there towards where Mr. White was at? No, it was parked close to the road. Okay. Back pretty much in the same spot it was that morning when they, when they first seen. Okay. So when you drove them back there, you left your truck where it was parked the whole time. Mm hmm So you never left your truck until you left the house then? Only in the second time. Yeah, to my house I went. What you mean? So, you you dumped Mr. White. Oh, I thought I dumped him. That when I got in his truck. You got in his truck. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Then you drove to the house with her in it, loaded up the guns, came back, put it in your truck, dumped her, walked back to your truck, and then left. Yeah. So you got there in your truck and you left in your truck, but you didn't drive your truck over there to break into the house or anything. I drove my truck over there initially to go through the gate. Okay, and that's when you bended the gate up. Yeah. Okay. So you, that was after they were shot, right? But yeah. you, you left them back there yeah. in the in the wood line where the, he was found. Yeah. Okay, and then the, to say this is the wood line, the truck was facing this way. What a wood line now? Right here. Yeah. If the truck's facing this way. Your truck's up here. Yeah. So you dump them. You walk to your truck, tear through the gate. See the safe, need a key, come back, park it, walk here. No, I go back. I drive all the way to the truck. Drive. So how do you get from, okay, you drive, get in this truck, drive over there. No. When I drive back up to get the keys, I drive back up and park behind them. Okay. Open the door, get the keys and everything. Okay. And then jump back in my truck and go back to the house. Unlocked it. Yeah. Or pick the lock. Well, I didn't pick it then. Because I figured there was another key somewhere I thought I couldn't get in there. Okay. So I went back to the truck to check his pockets. Uh, okay. So that was, okay. So you went in your truck, couldn't find the key, had to come back. Yeah. Man, I bet, uh, what was, man, what was going through your mind through that whole ordeal after that shots rang out? I you... don't, I hope I don't have to, I hope don't nobody come. Because, I mean, I don't want to have to kill nobody. Else. That's yeah. how I'm like, I hope don't nobody come. I hope don't nobody come. So if somebody would have come to check on you, hey, can I help you? What's going on? Yeah. That's all I kept saying. I hold on about a couple. I hold on no good Samaritan. You know, and I figure like they see two trucks, they'll probably think we working. Yeah. Instead of just one truck out there, they see two. Then they see somebody moving around. Okay, they doing some work. What made you wear the back brace? Because I knew I was going to have to walk. Honestly, I don't know what made me grab. I just seen it. I seen the back brace when I was at the house, and I said, let me take that. Okay. So I just picked it up. Was it part of the the look you were wanting, or did you think you might need it for that safe? No, I didn't. I honestly didn't. I just grabbed it. Like I said, and then, then um, matter of fact, it was in the truck. I didn't even take it for that. It was already in the truck. Okay. So when I seen it, and I was like, I know I got to walk. Yeah. And I know there's a busy road for uh, trucks and shit. Yeah. So I was like, I got to look the part. Okay. So I know y'all find that vest in the in the bushes out there. Yeah, for Yeah, her. that I had that vest too. Okay. So yeah. I put my vest on, put my back brace on, so I looked apart. Okay. Walking down. So I gotcha. That's what I, that's 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 what that was. Okay. But I didn't I didn't take the back brace for for that. Like I said it was already in the truck. Yeah. Then I had my crowbar in the truck. That's what I used to go in the doors. Uh -huh. You know, y'all probably seen it in the, in the back seat on black. Okay. That's what I used to pop the door. Dead time of that. No, I ain't know nothing about all that. And I tell you what, one thing that's going that I had thought about, and I didn't want to push you on it. Um, and I'm not asking you to go into details on this, okay? Because I, I. Right now, we need all the facts on this case with the Whites. We'll talk to the DA if, you know, if we can work out something with, where there's no death penalty on the table, then we'll come back and, and I'll, I'll ask more questions about this. You can just nod your head a yes or no, okay? Um, and if you'd rather not, just, just I just want to make sure that, that I'm thinking on the right track. Um, does DB exist? Mm-hmm. But DB ain't do that. That was that DB and my uncle. Okay. He died. So 
Okay. I just couldn't think of nobody at that time. So. Okay. But uh, I know who did, but uh Okay. Yeah, I know who did. Okay. All right. No, DB don't exist. That, that, that's my uncle named David Bryan. He stayed on Burton Avenue. Okay. I just couldn't think of nobody else at the time that died. I was trying to think of somebody that and died. And you don't have to. I got you. I hate you. You <laughs> slip thinking. <laughs> and you don't have to You don't have to get into details on it, but you can just tell me without telling me. Okay. Not tell me without telling me. <laughs> you ain't got to elaborate, but that, that one was you, wasn't it? Mm-mm. Okay. No, but I know it. I know, I know it is. Is the machete where you said it was? Oh, yeah, that down. Okay. Yeah, that down. Okay. Yeah. Why, why'd, you, why'd you make up DB? Because I couldn't think of nobody else. That, that was all. Uh, but why not just tell me who did it? No, because I, 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 ain't, I didn't want to get him in trouble. Yeah, I, I, like you said, you know, I didn't want to just, you go pick him up, another case out. I got gotcha. you. So. I didn't want that. I wanted to, you know, like, hey, gradually get into it. But yeah, I, I was gonna, I'm, I'm, like I said, okay. know, y'all know the truth about the white now. Okay. He had gone in. So we'll, we'll, we'll. Yeah, so what? Well, All right. Going. Well, yeah, I appreciate you clearing up DB because honestly, I've had a lot of folks doing a lot of work trying to figure out who that was, and it's kind of the same thing with swag. It wasn't really painted out. I'm like, uh, wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, DB, DB a real person, but that's hey. my uncle. He did. Okay. Yeah, he, he died of, he was like 68 years old, man. That man ain't doing nothing. Yeah, he been bed screaming the last five, six months. Hey, did Davis have somebody else help him out? On what? Um, with this, with White, any other co workers involved? Not that, like I said, I don't think he used to tell me that he used to talk to the son and get information from the son. Okay. And then he used to talk to the daughter. Okay. Cause, you know, he was like, they whole family on meth. Yeah. So he was like, Shh. and that's what I was going to tell y'all too about that. Like, y'all sitting here believing some meth here, talking about 150 something thousand dollars. Uh, I don't know 150 something thousand dollars. If it was, I missed it. Like, real talk, I missed it. Yeah. But, uh, I told you exactly how much we didn't say. That is like 36 thousand dollars. Well, that, that makes a little more sense. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, he used to get his information from, I say, the son. And um, okay. you know, he used to talk to the daughter, and that's how he found out about the funeral and all of that. So that's when I was supposed to do it when they went to the funeral, but he couldn't ever give me no direct information. Okay. What would have happened if were if she was in the house? Would you have just tied her up? Is that mm-hmm. true? The wife. Yeah, that's all I don't know. Yeah, because okay. I was thinking when I was on the side, I, you know, I was talking to dead. You know, he like, what's up? I said, man, I don't hear no movement in there. So I'm thinking about just going to go in the hive, man. He like, well, you know, if you can get in now. I said, but I don't know if she got the alarm set. Yeah. So with the alarm set, it's all about timing then. You know, I got to move out of fast pay. I said, but if she ain't got the alarm set, I can get in the door in a matter of seconds. Yeah. You know, then I can go in there and be like, Lay down, shut up. Shut up. Just give me the money, I'm gone. You know, and I was gonna tell her like, you know, like, hey, look, give me the money. Your nephew already told me you got it, so okay. Let me get the money and go. Did you uh, did you uh, go by there like the days before? Yeah, me and Dad, you ride by there. Okay. Did y'all like pull in the driveway or anything like that? Yeah, we pulled in. I think one time we pulled up to the front gate and we bagged up, but most of the time we just rolled around, rolled up and down the road just to look. As far as all entry points, like, okay, how we gonna get in? We can go in on this side, but it's a neighbor. And then you got this big old field. And then we got all these woods, so how can we get in? I gotcha. So we, we were gonna ride down. And then, you know, one time he was gonna drop me off. Or we were gonna get somebody to drop us off. Yeah. And if he'd have went with me, we were gonna get somebody to drop us off. And they were gonna drive off. And then we were gonna go in the woods. Okay. Just to scope it out. We supposed to did that all that week. We were supposed to went in there and just scoped it out for a couple of days, but we never did. So, first time I went in there that Friday was the first time I ever been over. Gotcha. Gotcha. I was over there about four hours, man. Yeah. Now, where'd you throw that safe away? It's in one of them trash cans. You know what I'm like I said, I know it's in the dumpster because they don't dump the trash cans. What, what trash cans did you put it in? I put it in. 
I don't know the name of these apartments. Um, this girl I used to talk to stayed over there. Uh, on Pine, no, 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 well, Advanced Auto. Advanced uh -huh. Auto. Yeah. Listen, when you go that side road, them apartments right there. Okay. It's like yeah. a big green dumpster or something you put in? Yeah, it? something right there. You know, matter of fact, when you go on the side of Advanced Auto, and you cross over into the apartment, that trash can right there where I do it. Uh. And, um, but, you know, I know they don't dump that trash can, so we're probably in the land for you. But that's why I dump the safe. Okay. All right. What you use to bust the button in the back door? That crowbar. Did y'all go get the crowbar? Yeah. Yeah, that crowbar. Okay. But that one was hard to bust, man, because I kept on hitting it and hitting it and hitting it. It's like bulletproof glass or something. And then finally, it just, the whole frame just kind of gave in. Yeah. So then that's when I just pulled it, kept on pulling it. <clears throat> and I reached my hand and then unlocked it. What, uh, how, so how long this whole process take you? From the time, from the time I shot him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, from the time I shot him until the time I left, man, probably 45 minutes. Okay. Yeah, somewhere around right now. I'm going to say 45 minutes. And your phone did die, right? Oh, yeah, it died. Yeah. Yeah, it died. It died. Yeah, so I'm going to say like 45 minutes. Okay. And Dez brought this to your attention, is that right? Yeah. They're not all every little I know did. Well, not every last one. I'm saying the last, cause I met Dez. My cousin introduced me to Dez last year. Now, when you and Dez was riding up there just scooping out, what was y'all riding in? Sometimes the truck. Your truck? Yeah. Sometimes I used the black car. Black car. Yeah. But you know, I rode up there a couple times in his old lady. Hey, baby mama car. He go by himself then? Yeah. Oh. yeah. And he'll call me like, hey, man, I just rolled by there, man. Uh, I don't see nothing but the uh, truck there. Or I don't see nothing but a wife there. And I'll be like, all right. Now, when you was over there where we told you we found the live round, where yeah. you said you racked it, why why did you need to rack it over there after that? I didn't, because uh, that's when I realized that it had jam. I didn't realize the jam when I shot. Like I said, I only shot twice. Pow, pow, and then. You know, I went in overdrive, so I didn't realize that it had a uh, jam until I looked at it. I was like, oh, shit. So that's when I was... Oh, uh, so you did that in case you had to use it again? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Right, matter of fact, what I did was when I realized that and I and I tried to pull the, the spin round out of there, uh, it, it ejected. A live round. Yeah. So then I had to drop the clip out. So, then take the live round. So the when round. you shot him, the the spent round ejected like it was supposed to. Yeah. Then when you shot her, that spent round would have been jammed in the gun. Yeah. He had a double feed. Yeah. 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 Now what, whenever that cleared, what did you do with that spent round? Uh, I don't know what I did with it. Probably, honestly, it's probably on the ground somewhere. Right there, where, where. So you got it. So over there, there's gonna be a shell casing and a live round. So basically, the live round and the shell casing got jammed in the gun. You had to clear both. Yeah, and then I dropped the clip out. And then, it, okay. Put one, put one bullet. It might be in the truck. I don't know. Okay. I don't know because I, I, when I sat back in the truck, that's when I wiped my wiped the bullet off, put it back in the clip, and then put it up. And then, and what made in. What made you choose the weapon that you chose? I didn't. That's just the only one I had. Okay. The one I had access to. Like I said, I had plenty of guns, but I sell them. Okay. But I knew that one right there wasn't going nowhere. Because it was a mobile later than that. Okay. And I never wanted to use that, but I, I used it one time before. Okay. On the murder. Yeah. Yeah. So I was going to get rid of it eventually anyway. I just never told her okay. until that time. And I was like, man, you need to report your gun stolen. And she was like, why? Got some bodies on it, so she was, you know, she was like, "What the fuck?" Okay. Well, I'm surprised you never used a revolver. 
I would because, you know, they don't, you know, yeah. I don't never keep them. Every time I get them, that's what everybody want for that sole purpose. You know, hey, man, you got, you got, some, you got some revival, man, you know, so. I, all the revivals I ever got, 380, I think I even had a police, police revival one time, back in the day. I think I even had one of them. But like I said, I sold them things. All them, all them other guns I had, them things went fast. I sold some to one of my buddies, and then I gave some to one of my partners. He in prison now, though. He, uh, he sold the rest of them for me. And Lizella, because I used to get pissed off at him. Like, what the fuck you selling to for? And I got him from Lizella. It's <laughs> crazy. So he was like, the dude ain't going to say nothing. Yeah, until he gets cold. Yeah, and I was like, well, that's on you, bro, because if it comes back to me, you know, but now I don't even care. Shit. Man, one thing I'm curious about, we found a door handle in the back of your truck that matches one that goes on their truck. On the truck? On the white truck, the white F-150. A door handle? Yeah. The door handle was on their truck? Or did it come off? One come off the back of it. Off the back of the truck or the back door? The back door. Like the door handle where you grab and open, you know, like on the outside. It came off the back? Yeah, up there, true. No. Because the only door got messed up on there is the front door. Like I say, that's when I had put it in reverse and put a foot on the gas and then it bagged back, and that's when it hit my truck. But that was just the back door. I don't, I don't, that's the, I can't remember. Like I said, I can't remember. If it did come off, I don't know. I didn't know when it hit my truck. And then finally stopped, I put it back in drive and pushed it up. And I picked up everything that was on the ground, like the back of my light fixture and all that. I picked all that shit up. Put it back on the, uh, put it back on, on the truck. So if that was part of it, I don't really know. I'm not paying no attention. I got you. But I want to see how the back door handle could have fell on. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Yeah, I want to know You want something to snack on? No. Let me ask you this. So, you know, obviously I've done a lot of, in, in, well, not obviously, but I. A lot of the interviews that I've done, you know, we don't work burglaries and property crimes and stuff with the GBI. It's whatever. It may be a political case or it's usually some type of homicide or something like that. What, 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 what do you think, from sitting in your perspective, can I do to get somebody to tell me the truth? Honestly, ain't nobody tell you anything. Right? But they don't take highly the threats. Like, if y'all would have came at me all fucked up, you know, I would have just been like, fuck it, do what you do. You know? Okay. But like I said, it's all about, eventually, you know, it's all about respect. It's all about how you talk to a person. That's in the end of thing, in any form of life. Yeah. It's all about how you talk to a person. It's all about how you talk to them. Because, you know, these police will be going and slapping people and, we know you did and all that. Okay, you know, that's your job to prove it then. But, you know, like I say, it's all about how you talk to them. Like when y'all was in here that first day and you kept itching at me and all that, and I was like, okay, all right, I, I can see now he's ready to solve this case, so, you know, I see how it is now, so I'm just going to end this. Okay. What made you decide to talk with us a second time then? I don't know. I just like to land in my cell because I, I, didn't, I didn't have no feelings whatsoever. After, after y'all came in here and talked to me that first time, yeah. I, ain't I went to my cell and I just laid in there and laid in there. I just got to thinking about it like days, days. Like, how they got me so fast? Because then the officer said, we got the truck. And that's what I just want to think. I'm like, well, shit, if y'all got the truck, y'all would have came and asked for her. So how y'all come and ask for me? And then, you know, it's like I just, a whole lot of shit was just going through my mind, trying to put the pieces together, like, dead, dead, dead. I know dead, dead. And me just angry, I was like, well, shit, I'm going to send his ass to prison too, fuck. Okay. You know, that's what I was like, 
I talk to y'all. Okay. Really? Yeah, I was, I was, yeah, as you know from the first time we talked, I was sugarcoating a lot of stuff. Really trying. To oh get, yeah. Trying to get a feel of y'all as far as how much y'all knew. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Was there any way you would have told us that first day? Yeah. Is there anything that we could have done different for you to tell us that first day? Mm-hmm. Nope. Okay. No, it was just too early. I just had to. Had to be ready. Yeah. Just, was our approach, do you think that would have been successful with somebody else, maybe? Not, not day one. Okay. Not day one. I'm going to say, you know, we had anybody to talk at the right time. Yeah. You, you give them time enough to, you know, like in my situation, honestly, Y'all, that's a good tactic, but it ain't a good tactic. But y'all left me in that cell, no books, no nothing, nothing but my mind going crazy. And then y'all wouldn't give me no phone call for a couple of days. So I don't know what my old lady got going on. I don't know what's, what's on her mind, which I already know I'm going to go to prison forever. But, you know, I was like, okay, I need you for a while. I can't talk to her. So with all that, plus... Me saying, thinking dead snitch. Don't want him to get out easy. So I'm like, man. So that's a good tactic. If you leave somebody mm-hmm. alone for a while with just their thought. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about not just no little 24 hours and then you got to, y'all gave me three, four days and y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think two or three days, yeah. Like I called y'all that second day or something? Yeah. I called y'all that second day. Yeah. yeah. That's all I needed because, like I said, I was pissed off at dead. Yeah, I got you. If I wouldn't have been pissed off at dead, I wouldn't have called y'all. I would have just rolled it out for a while. Okay. Just to see how things go. But, you know, like I said, I set my faith. I know I'm going to prison. Yeah, I understand. I ain't mad at that. I'm good with that. I think that's a good thing. I know that's crazy to say. But at the mind frame I was at now, y'all had more dead bodies on. Yeah. Yeah, I know you would've. Like I said, my mind was on. And that's what that one thing I want, I'm gonna tell my old lady too, like, you know, cause she's like, you just, you don't, you, you ain't the same. She done told me, like, you ain't the same, you know. I had got back in the streets. I'm a different breed than these little young niggas out here now. Like, bro, y'all out here just bullshitting. I'm out here gonna get this money by any means. You gotta shoot you, your mama, your uncle, your dad, and the dog. Mm-hmm. So won't nobody talk. Just in case the dog be like that little bush bean man. That dog just died. I think he did just die. He did. Uh, he did. So. When did he die? Uh, Where was you at? Like <laughs> <that>? <laughs> so I'm like, so that was my mentality. So that's why I said I know bodies were gonna pile up. If I would've got away with this one, I wasn't gonna do nothing but go ahead and plot. Cause you know, like I say, Bean was under the radar. Yeah. Anything else I did other than that, Bean was the main target. <laughs> because I know that's why I was gonna net the most money. How much you think you got off Bean? I would've got some racks. It all depends on why I caught his hand at the cookie jar and how much he was willing to give. I not even went to the screen as far as, I'm gonna kick his mama door in, tie her up. And be like, look, bring me 500000 bro. Or you might as well go and get your black T-shirt together. You, you think you think he really had that kind of cash? Oh, he got that kind of money. 500 Man, He got more than that. Really? Yeah. He got, he got that bread. He got that bread. I done did too much research and homework on him. He got that bread. How's he pay? Does he pay cash for these houses? I really can't say. You know, he, 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 I don't, I don't, he kind of legit, I guess, because he's buying these houses. But at the same time, you pushing keys and keys of dope. you pushing keys and keys and pounds of weed. Who's he tied in with? Is he tied in with some prominent folks? Yeah, he got a, his connect up there in Atlanta. I, mean, I, was, I was trying to figure out where it was, because he was going to be my neck target. Huh. <laughs> I just know he in Atlanta. I know father, I know father, like I said, I put the GPS on the car, so it's a loft up there in Atlanta. What, in downtown or what? Uh, I thought I screenshotted it on my phone, so okay. I'll probably see it. But yeah. It's a loft up there he go to. That's what he did mostly. He go to these lofts. Because they like prominent places and 
lot of college kids, so yeah. police ain't really looking for no real shit to go down there. I got you. So he, he deal with these laws. I knew about his laws down in town. In Macon? Yeah. Same place that boy got busted with them 70 pounds and 600,000 dollar cash. I was mad about that. That would have set me straight. <laughs> <laughs> you mad because the police yeah. beat you up? I thought, I like, how in the hell I didn't know this? What did Dez say when you told him you had killed the whites? He, he said, like, what? He's like, oh, well, you know, you had to do what you had to do. And he like, how much money was in there? Mm -hmm. So I told him. He didn't care as long as he wasn't the one had to do it. Yeah, I, I, I figured that, you know. Mm -hmm. Which I, I, you know, I don't kind of, I think I know I mentioned that to my old lady about him. I even told my cousin one day we were walking, you know, and I was like, man, you hooked me up with this man, and this man a burglar, you know. Because he always told my boy, Dad be doing them licks. And I was like, man, they don't be doing no licks, they're breaking their hides. I used to do that shit when I was a teenager. Yeah. You know, so they breaking their hides. Shit. I can break and hide it all day. <laughs> so, so he, you know, like I say, he tell me about all these big primitive dope dealers, and he showed me what they main house, which is that's why I be wanting to know they main house. I don't want to know they trap. I want to know they main house where they lay their head at. Well, that's where the money's gonna be. That's where the money's gonna be. So, I watch them a couple of days, see their movement, where they go. And I know where to get them at. I know where to get them at. But most folks probably aren't as uh, thoughtful as you with your target selection, I wouldn't think. No, because like I said, these young boys now, they just, they come in packs. So the only thing they see is numbers. There's four of us, we running over these guns, ain't nobody in the book. That's how they think. Okay. You know, I'm a one man show. Um, you know, I, I like to do my stuff by myself. That's why I, I'm pissed off at myself for slipping with this camera. The camera, man. I'm like, damn. I don't know why I wasn't thinking. Oh, that camera got you. Yeah, because I'm like, I seen these two cameras. I seen these cameras up front. Well, you knew there was cameras there. Yeah, but I didn't. I'm like, if he didn't have no cameras in the back, on the outside, because these cameras on the outside up there. So I was like, if he didn't have no camera on the back, why would he have a camera on the... And I wasn't thinking like that, like I said. And that's when I just went on the back porch, because I was like, well, shit, he ain't got no camera on this side. You know, yes. I guess, you know, I don't know, I don't know why, but I was like, he ain't got no camera on this side, but I see these two cameras. So I was like, hmm. I mean, I'm thinking. Right there by the back door. And I was like, shit. And that's when I walked over there, I just having to look up. Oh. Fuck. Yeah. And I was thinking, like, ain't no way I can damn. If it was just one of them cameras where you just ordered offline and set it up, I would have been good. Yeah. Because then that would have just been hooked up to a Wi Fi. I could have deleted that. But I knew that was hooked up to a system. Okay. So, with no get Ryan that, so I ain't even gonna waste my time trying to delete it. I gotcha. I gotcha. What a. What could have, what could, is there something that would have gotten you to talk on any of these crimes before today? Or before, you know, you've been interviewed on other cases before. Yeah. Have you almost told no. on yourself? No. Could it could have, a, could have a detective or anybody gone about it a different way that had been more successful in, in the sense that you would have no. made some disclosures could we have done anything is there it's from what you're saying there's nothing we could have done to get you to tell us the truth that first day doesn't sound no. like no when, uh, except just not piss you off too much yeah but when, when nothing that's in any case you know uh, like i said i've not been questioned about two other murder and you know uh my mind frame at that time was, bitch, get your bed 12. Yeah. You know, I don't, like I said, I don't give a fuck if you catch me right there with the pistol. Yeah. But it wasn't me. Were you comfortable sitting in the chair that first day? Were you nervous? The only thing I was nervous about, like, and I wasn't even like, really nervous. 
I was just anticipating them. Okay. To get jumped. I was anticipating them. That's it. And okay. I was just bracing myself. Like, shit, I just killed these two white people, man. I'm dying here every time. I said, I know they're going to jump on me, man. So I was just anticipating it. That's it. Okay. I wouldn't worry about nothing. I was like, fuck it. I'm, they probably going to knock a couple of teeth out and break a rib or something. Yeah, I was like, that's what I was expecting. Oh, you thought, like, we were going to hurt you? Well, not necessarily just y'all, but I'm just saying, period. I, okay. That's what I was anticipating. Oh, uh, like, okay. When I got caught, like, yeah, they're going to beat my ass. I know they, I know somebody's going to beat my ass. Oh. So that's <laughs> what I was anticipating. Well, nobody laid a hand on you now. No, they didn't. They didn't lay no hand on me. I was like, okay, all right. You know, yeah, we ain't going to do that. Yeah, I, that's what I was, I, you know, I wasn't worried about nothing else. I was just like, don't get this ass working over with. But then I remember then I got to thinking, like, okay, they might not do it yet, because this might be a high-profile case. So they don't want me to go to the courtroom all beat up. Because that's what happened when I... <laughs> that's what happened when I escaped and I hit the police. They wanted to whoop my ass in that kind of jail. They told me. But the major at that time told them, don't do it, because he's going to be on the news. It's a high-profile case. Okay. But, yeah, they, they what? He's going to also try to swing on me. He said, I know I'm going to do this, but I got to it. He tried to swing on me, but you know, I moved and he hit my shoulder. And I knew this, I was on the street. And I vowed, I ain't going to lie to you, I vowed. I said, well, when I get out of there, I'm going to kill this son of a bitch. But I ain't never seen him again. But yeah, I had to Would you have killed him if you saw him today? No, I beat his ass on Yeah, I'd have beat his ass And if you'd have saw him at the grocery store, what would you do? Yeah, I, I know it would have been a different story. <laughs> Yeah. He'd have been like, oh, what's up, man? You fine? I, I, I probably would have swam on him. Like, but I knew I probably would have got my ass. They probably would have locked me up, but I really can't say that. I really can't say that, Kyle. My mind was so on other shit. Yeah. If I would have seen him, I probably would have cussed him out. Yeah. Uh, shot him a bird. Cause he would have been like, oh, shit, what's up, man? I'm mean, like, fuck you. You tried to swing on me, motherfucker. Okay. You know, and I probably would have just left it at that, but he would have been fresh in my mind again. I got you. But as far as that, nah, I can't really care. That. You ever thought about hurting any other officers? No, nah, I don't. I don't, you know, I, don't I, know, I know a lot of people say they don't fuck with the police. Man, I don't, y'all don't need it to me. You know, not y'all, I'm just saying in general. In general, yeah. Yeah, police don't need nothing to me. They don't fuck with me. So I don't give a damn. Yeah. See, I, don't, I don't walk around with no grudge against y'all. Would you, would you, uh, not so much as a grudge. Would you hit? Would you seek a police house for a target? No. Nah, or if you knew they were, a, if a police officer lived at his house, would you avoid that house? I did see a house. I knew a police lived there. It was uh, going up a uh, road that was because there was a target over there. There was a target over there, and the police stayed across the street. And uh. I used to see the police car all the time. I pretty much started coming up and down that street a lot, not watching that police, but I see when his car be down and when his car don't. And I was like, I wonder if I hit that car, what can I get up on? I said, that might be a crooked cop. I said, he might got a lot of money now. I get paid under the table or something. So I was like, that's a, that's a nice ass house he stay in. And he stay up on the hill, got a truck, about three cars. Police ain't gonna pay that damn much money. So no. shit, that might be a cricket ass cop right there. Mm -hmm. so, and that's it, you know, I ain't never pursued it. Okay. I ain't never started watching them, like, seeing what they, you know, like I say, I just used to think that. Like, I bet you that bitch got a bunch of guns in there high. Probably got a bunch of cash. But, like I say, I was over there for another target. Now, I know this target, uh, I know they had a bunch of cash in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Like 400,000, probably more. What about, have you ever, you know, and I, you're not this type, but, you know, there's like sexually motivated killers. Child molesters? Well, well, I mean, there are child molesters, but a lot of folks, you know, whatever it may be, like prostitutes, or they their, their goal may be to rape a woman and kill her. Have you ever come across any of those types in prison or in in, in the street? As far as my people that just robbed or rape? Yeah, just serial offenders. No, I 
Yeah, you know, that's just a power thing. Are they? Okay. That's just a power thing. You know, they just like dominance. Yeah. You know, that's all that be. It ain't got nothing to do with. They just want to bust a nut or nothing. It's no, just, you're exactly right. It's yeah. a power thing. You're so 100, 100 percent right. Yeah, so it's just a power thing. How, how do you get to those folks? Man, in this day and age, man, it's hard to know a predator. It's hard because the main predator be the main one walking around here every day with the with the duck head shirt on. And, yeah. And, you know, them the main predators, man. So, you know, it's hard to pick a predator out. You know, you look at the stereotypes. No. You know, oh, yeah, he look like a raper. Yeah. A cat and a raper, that cat probably yeah. going to church and everything. You're you so, like, you you exactly know, right. Man, Motherfucker, you least expect walking around here. How you doing, sir? And yeah. Praise God and all that. <laughs> you know, man, honest with you. Yeah, I mean, you're 100% correct. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you know that? Is that intuitive or is that from being in prison and knowing some of these kind of people? Yeah, that's from me knowing these people, you know, talking to these, some of these people. And, and like I say, just me being in the streets. And, you know, you don't. You ain't gonna find too many rapists in the hood. You ain't gonna find too many. You find most of them in the church. Find most of them in the church. They want to get off the building. Such such a night they pray. So they go rape somebody and go right back to work tomorrow. Like ain't nothing happen. Do you ever see any of those type of people on the streets buying dope or buying women or anything like that? Nah. I don't really deal. I don't really deal with dope. Like I'm a dope dealer. Like well, I know you don't do, but you know who's selling, and you would know if somebody's over there buying, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, like I said, the people that I know, the people that I was watching, you know, they high-end people. They deal with keys and yeah. crowns, so they ain't finna deal with the peons out there in the street. Yeah, so, you know, the people they sell to are the next level people. You mean it? Kind of mid level. Yeah, the one that hey, let me get five pounds. So then they got their workers. Yeah. You know, none of the people I was watching. So they don't have no type of people like that coming around. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, as would you still be willing to sit down and talk when Miranda doesn't apply and it ain't nothing incriminating? It's just me and you talking. So you can, I can maybe. Get, yeah, I'm willing. Get your inside on stuff? Yeah, I'm willing. Okay. Yeah, I'm willing. I'm willing. Okay. Yeah. I kind of like talking to y'all. I'll be honest with you. I'm comfortable with y'all. I like to say that. I know that's crazy to say it. Y'all, GBI. Yeah, I'm comfortable talking to y'all. Like, we're talk. I'm really like, What makes you comfortable? I don't know. I just, I just, you know, I was, like I said, the other day, after I talked to my mom and she telling me about the house, and then I got to thinking about something that was said last time we was in here. You know, I was like, them folks ain't even talked to beds yet. So they were coming over, you know. Now, let me ask you a question, though. Like, real talk. Because <laughs> I thought about that. When y'all brought that tie thing up, about the, about the rims, dead supposed to be in the soul, mm -hmm. dead ain't told y'all I was no murderer right now, then. He probably did. I got to thinking, like, what the tie, what the fuck the rims got to do with this murder case? So I was thinking, they probably had dead, do you know him? And he was like, yeah, I know him, but we fell out. Because I sold some tired or something. That's what I got to thinking. Like, so Dad probably ain't told him shit. He probably just told him that we don't fuck with each other no more. So he didn't know me. And I was like, damn. So that's what I got to thinking. Like, boy, them folks don't play this shit out. <laughs> what you mean? I don't know what I like. They done lied to me. They got me to tell her. I got me thinking Dad I told on me and shit. And that's it. What I was thinking of myself one day. And I was like, they done, they done told me this bullshit. Brought these ties up. Because then nobody know nothing about the tie. But me and Dad, so I was like, so how the fuck they know about the tires? And I was like, Dad probably did say something, but then I got to thinking, like. I'll say this. I mean, obviously, I can't. I'm not going to tell you. So, just like I'm not going to tell you, every, like, if I'm sitting there with Dez, I ain't going to tell him oh, yeah. what you're telling us, and I ain't going to tell you what Dez has told has told Major Long and I. Now, and I wouldn't say it's any of us trying to play you, um, but you may have thought some things in your mind that weren't all the way there but I mean obviously I knew who I was dealing with when I stepped into the room you know what <laughs> I mean um, so some things that you're assuming maybe 
may be true. Some of them are probably not true. You know, I, I kind of, in life in general, things are usually not as bad as people think they are, but they're usually not as good as people think they are. It's usually somewhere in the middle. So, um, but... It's all good. It's all good. I told you I'll do it every time, so... But, uh, you know, uh, he, but here, here's at the end of the day, Mr. Rowland. We knew whenever we sat down in the room, would you, that, you, you know, you would have had to have known about the whites. This wasn't no random act in the sense that you just, whoever did this, pick, just randomly picked the house. You know what I'm saying? We know that didn't happen. I, I was getting ready to come and tell y'all the other day, because I, I, you know, I, I said, next time they come and get me, I'm just going to tell them nobody had anything to do with it. Well. I did everything. Dez ain't told me nothing. That's what I was honestly going to tell you. No, I mean, don't, see, but see, then we know you're lying. Yeah, you that's know, what I'm doing. You know, like, you know, um, and our job is, and I, I think I said this day one, or, or early on, it's just the truth. It, it, it ain't. I don't want you to tell me anything that you didn't do, but I don't want you to lie to me either. Um, but now, I also understand that that you look. You're an old school guy. You ain't gonna put all the cards on the table at the gate. And Major Long and I talked, and we said, you know, we we knew that we were looking hard into swag and it just wasn't coming up. And I said, you know, we both were, were just discussing. I said, well. Uh, he'll tell us when he's ready to tell us. There ain't nothing we're going to be able to do to force you to tell us. You too, you too seasoned. You know there ain't no tricking you into telling us something. Either you're ready to sit down and talk about it, or you're not. And so we had cards in our pocket. You had cards in your pocket. And as time goes on, we'll, you know. Yeah, you know, he, he and I had a conversation on Friday afternoon. Yeah. This past Friday afternoon, and we both concluded there's no swag. Mr. Rowland, will, when he's ready, he'll come yeah. straight with us because he knows we've been straight with you. And I think that's why you're you're comfortable with us is because we hadn't got you in here. We hadn't done a bunch. We hadn't lied to you. And all of that stuff that you see sometimes, we ain't done none of that. So I think that's what makes you comfortable with us because we've, we've been straight with you and, you know, we've told you what we could tell you. So I think that's what makes you comfortable with us. You know, we hadn't got you in here, we hadn't screamed at you, we hadn't cussed at you, we hadn't done any of that. So. Mm. What you thinking? Mm -hmm. Are we talking to the government? Nah, with the, with the other cases. Yep. Once I do tell y'all, I do you know, after y'all go talk to the DA, right. not since I know admitted the white case. Right. And we told you we were going to do that, and we are going to do that. So now, once I admit the other cases, mm -hmm. do I got to go to court on them cases? Meaning, why can't I just, y'all go ahead and convict me on the white cases, and the other cases, just come and give me my time for it. And I, you know, just Same, but yeah, I mean, I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, I'll call the DA and bid and just say, hey, look, um, we've got a guy that is possibly going to clear up. How many are you making? Eight. Let me see. One in Atlanta. Three, four. Yeah, five. Five, six, yeah, seven. It, so eight total, including the one you were charged with. Three. Right? Oh, I'm counting that two. Make nine. Okay. Yeah, that nine all okay. together. The two. Then, let's see. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yeah, that's nine. Yeah, so if one in Atlanta, these two, that's three, and everything else is making. And, and so how many is it making total? Nine? Six. Six, okay. Six in Macon. Six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. One in Atlanta, six in Macon, and then these two. Okay. Eight. And that six includes the one that we've already talked about some that you were charged with? 20, 20 years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So five, five total. Okay. Five plus that one? Yeah, five okay. plus that one. So anyway, uh, but I can talk to her about that. Yeah, I don't think that would be a problem. I mean, I've got her number. I'll give her a call. Yeah, they just send me my time. And put it on. I mean, you know, but but now with that, when you tell us stuff, we're going to have to, you know, you know, corroborate it and, 
you know, Bibb County would have to take charges and they're going to want to talk to you and, and all that. But now if that happens, it, are you willing to talk to them or you want Major Long and I to be the ones you deal with or what's up? What that? All right. But, I, but I, all y'all together, though? Or y'all just GBI for that this way? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm GBI and Macon, so you can talk to me about Macon. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what I'm saying. You know, I yeah, just, keep it like this? Yeah, I, I never did it all, you know. Okay. okay. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to send somebody down here that you don't uh, get along with and piss you off or mess up. No, they can't kick me off. I'm good at nothing, you know. Like I said, I'm good. I'm good. That pissed you off on that first day? I wasn't even mad. Yeah. I wasn't even mad. I don't think that kind of like I got up under my skin. Like I say, with you fidgeting and twitching, you know, I was anticipating a lick. So I wasn't even mad then. I was just ready for it. Like, I got you. Like, you know, like, no, man. Like, you, you, know, you can't hate <laughs> nobody in custody, man, without, without uh, defending you. So you can't just go up and slap some. I mean, I wouldn't do that anyway, but you can uh, they, uh, Major Long put me in a pink jumpsuit, too, if I did something like that. <laughs> That's that's what I was anticipating. So, I wasn't I mad. I wasn't even mad. I got caught. You and know? you know, we don't even have those kind of thoughts. He and I have worked a lot of cases yeah, man, together. We don't even have those kind of thoughts. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I, like I don't think I seen him when he hit that chill right here. Mm -hmm. And then he was, you know, so I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, kind of good, good cop, bad cop. Okay, so. I didn't get that aggressive <laughs> with you, though. But like I said, you were twitching and shaking and it didn't I, I didn't know what to expect. Man. Yeah, well, we were tired too now, man. You, yeah. Hey, I'll say this. You uh, you kept us up for a while now. You were talking about no sleep. <laughs> but, all right. So, th th I like to end our conversations with a game plan. And so, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, Major Long and I will reach out to the DA's office and at some point have a conversation with them or a meeting explaining everything they got you know, that, that, that you've told us and, and you're being up front about, um, about what we discussed today. Um, I'll reach out to the Bib DA okay, and kind of give her a heads up and, and talk to her about that. Um, and once we find out either way from the DA's office, um, I'll tell you, okay. If I say, "Hey, Charles, man, they're going after death penalty," I'll be I'll man up, and look at you, and tell you. However, I wanna I wanna talk about these other cases, okay. So if they say it's off the table, then what I'll do is, however we need to work it out, they can come here and talk to you, put them on a speakerphone, whatever. Um, uh, I will will arrange that to happen, okay. But the only thing I'm going to ask you to do, Charles, is just I'm going to make sure I got your word on this. If we can make it work where they don't pursue the death penalty and you get that guarantee from them, are we still good that you would tell us everything about the other murders that you've convicted, that you've committed? I swear on my mama's life. I'll okay. tell you every single one. I'm detail for detail. What a hammer had and everything. What okay. Just that. Okay. Uh, yeah, you want to refill the coffee? No, I'm good. That'll have me kissing my arm. Right. Yeah. Major Long, you got anything else you can think of? Do you think if you rode back up Rocky Creek, you could recognize where you threw out those parts? Or? Yeah, I could, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I know where to go in that. But I'm going to be honest with you. It'll incriminate me on the other one. I told you I used it on another murder. Yeah. So that's why I don't want to get to you just yet to have that tell you. Well, here, here's the deal with this and, and with the other murder. We're going to be able to link those two together anyway. So we'd like to have the gun just get it off the street. No, because there was no shell casing at the other murder. Okay. Yeah, I made sure of that. So. Okay. They ain't got no shell casing. They ain't got nothing but the bullet that was in the, in the person. So. Can we find it? Find uh, where? The gun. Yeah, once I tell you where it's at. Yeah, it's, it's, it's up somewhere, it, or is it where somebody could just go along and grab it? No, I'm saying you know they, I'm, I'm like no, it's off the road, and don't nobody if somebody go down now, I, I I don't know, but I seriously doubt it. So it, it's nine times out of ten it's still down. It's still down, but uh, that's the only thing I told you where it was at because I knew the link to another murder. 
Okay. That's why I ain't told you that way. I'm be honest with you. Okay. I would. Yeah. Uh, okay. And one other thing, and he may have, he just Logan may have covered it with you. The guns that we found at your mom's house, were those all of the guns that was in the in the safe? Yeah, it was eight okay. rifles and two guns. All right, yeah. so that is all of the guns. Yeah. Those, there's not any floating around no. on the street. No. Dez didn't right. have any guns. No, he was supposed to got that black one, the black rifle, but he didn't, he didn't get it. Cause he his well, what did Dez do with his cash? I don't know. Okay. Like I said, he probably gave it to his old lady or something. Okay. He ain't had time enough to spend it. Okay. So that's why I think, you know, his old, he did say his old lady had, or uh, he probably gave it to his aunt or mom or something. Okay. Uh, that, I don't know what he did with him. Okay. Alright. You got anything else, Major? No, I think that's about all. Alright. I know it's getting around lunchtime. You want, I don't know if we got anything in there like pack crackers or anything. You good? Or? I'm good. Okay. Y'all ain't gonna go harassing my old lady about them twenty five hundred dollars, man. I mean, at some point, we may have to talk to her about it, but we ain't going to go today, and we ain't going to go harassing her. I, I, wanna, I want us to stay talking to to you, honestly. Yeah. Okay? I mean, here's the thing. Did she lie to us? Yeah. Lie to y'all about what? For, you know, just about knowing and about everything. I mean, we, we had to talk to her. So she she's looking out for you. Yeah, to a certain extent, but, you know, I try to keep her out of my business. I, I understand. Like my mom. I understand. You know, that's why when y'all say y'all wouldn't told her my mom how... My mom ain't know nothing. No, I'm saying. Nothing. I understand. Because I try to keep my business away from her. Because I didn't want to bring no trouble to her, though. Well, let's do this. Do you, before you go, do you want to call your mom? Or do you want to wait? Mm, yeah, I can, well, I can, I can talk to her now in front of y'all. So, you know, and then I can go and tell her what I need to tell her, and then that'll be out of the way. Okay. So, once y'all get that confirmation from the DA. I don't get the tape recorder ready. And then when we get that confirmation, you'll tell us what a gun is. Yeah, I'll tell you what a gun is. About or murder, what a hammer at. Okay. Man, you can go on the call. You think we go ahead and just go ahead and let him call his mom? Yeah, you can go. All right. Okay. You got anything else for us? Is there anything else we need to clear up before we talk to the DA's office? No, everything I told you. Okay. All right. We'll go in there and you can talk with them. Mr. Rowland, you, you want a donut? Get back to the to the county jail. I'm I'm, I'm at the I'm at the office now talking to him. Oh oh okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm alright. I just called you know to to, to to let you know if you, if you see some stuff on the news now. Just uh just know your son. Is stuff finna come on the news? It's a possibility. I just want to, I want I just want you to hear from me first. You know uh, I've been a bad boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what, um... Real bad. Real bad. I'm talking about in the last four years. 
Really? Yeah, I probably I, I probably not I probably not off by eight nine people. No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my lord, no. Oh my god. Oh, you've been so calm, Bo. Yeah, I know. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so I just, I just, I just want uh, you to hear from me before I okay, take, baby. before I take. I'd rather hear news. from you. Uh, they say you can call her. She had some on her phone last night, and they had to, they told her to take it off. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm, uh, I'm gonna be calling her today and uh. And let her know you've been bad for four, five years, boss. Yeah, you know, then nobody know, you know. Uh, nobody know. I know. I ain't, no, ain't no way I know that you've been bad for four, five years, boss. Yeah. yeah uh, you going to call your brother? Yeah, honestly, I, uh, last night when I tried to call y'all, if I could have yeah, talked. he told me. He I'll, told me he missed the call. I was, going, I was going to put both of y'all on speakerphone last night and tell y'all, you know. Oh, Lord. Uh, yeah. Okay, well. Oh, boy, I don't know what to say, baby. I'm, I'm blown away. I already know. I know. And I, like I said, you know, I, I've been talking to the to the GBI and I'm and all like, I just want to talk to my mom first and tell her before. I tell y'all uh, anything and they get all over the news. And... Yeah. Oh, my God. So I just want you to hear from me for, yeah, I've been a bad boy. You know? Okay, now. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's what I want to hear. Yeah. 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 Mm. Okay, so are you are you are you repenting? Are you are you are you uh, are you thinking about uh, are you feeling you know uh, uh, regret? Are you feeling? Do you feel anything? Honest up about honestly, other than hurting us. Yeah, yeah, that that's the main thing, and then then at the same time, you know, like I don't, you know. It's it's not that I'm I'm sending him beat myself up about it, but I just rather clear the airway. Yeah. And yeah. you know, suffer whatever happened, you know, I'm like Okay. You know. Okay. I'm I'm just hoping well, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I don't I get the death penalty. I, I, I'm gonna see it and I'm I'm uh, it's just gonna be hard to believe that I, I didn't see it through it to you in you, you know? But you know, I nope. understand. Nobody I did. hear you. I love you. Love you too. And the only thing I can do is say, I'm praying for you. And, and okay. I'm going to be all right. I'm going to be all right. You know, I'm, I'm going to be all right. You no. know. I know you're going to be all right. <laughs> Charles Rose. You're going to be all right. Now, that's what I tell everybody. I'm Charles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to be okay. Right. You're going to be okay. Mm. Okay, darling. And um, I don't know where Bay is. You working? But she told me last night to tell you that uh, my phone is working. You call on the cell phone, the either phone, and she'll be there. And, and you can and you can get through to her. But I set up your um uh, account. Louis asked me about it. I told her go ahead on and set it up. Told TJ this morning to go ahead on and set it up. So you can call us and talk to us. Alright, appreciate it. And I'll just wait to hear you hear what you wanna tell me from the news. Alright, uh, don't give up on me. I'm I'm gonna be I'm not I'm not I'm not <laughs> You know I ain't gonna give up on you. Yeah, I know, I know. Mm. <clears throat> I always tell her, you're my baby, you know, this is my baby. Yeah. That's mine. I just had lost it a little. Yeah, I see. Oh, you know who I'm thinking about, huh? Who? Was it him too? Who? My friend. Your friend, your friend, your friend, your friend. Oh! Oh, yeah. No, oh, 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm glad you ain't called no name. I'm gonna tell him about it though. I'm glad you ain't called no name. Though. Oh my God. I'm gonna I'm I'm tell him about it. Okay. All right. Really? Was it eight or nine? Really? Yeah. Uh, both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just. Oh my God. My whole inside just shaking, baby. Yeah. It's gonna be all right. Anything I can do? Nah, not at this moment. I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to work something out with him. Well, you know, I can just do the remainder of my days in prison instead of dying. Uh, you, know, you know, but if it happens, it happens. Okay. Well, you know, I'm here. If anything I can do for you, or say I'm, I'm here. I can. All I know is. You'd have been the best song that I could think about, you know. You have just been there for, and I miss you, you know. I miss all them times I could call you to do something for me. Yeah. I miss it, and I miss you. I miss you too. I think about that too, like, man, I better be able to fix fixing my mom's porch. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then me gave out a uh, her car went crane yesterday, and she called big guy. Come on. I miss my nephew. He'd have been right here. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just those small things that that's Yeah, a little bit of things, you know. Mm. You got bigger things to worry about. Mm. And I'm finna call your brother. I tell him I call him tonight. Okay. Alright. I love you, baby. Love you too. Oh. You want to call him? Who? Your brothers? Nah, I want to call my old lady. Okay. You want to call her? What time is it? Uh, 12.54. Yeah, she, she at home. What's that, mate? Yeah, 4 7 mate. 3 3 5. No, my bad. Oh, we just gonna have to start over. 3. Yeah, that's it. Three three five, my bad. Three 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 five. Yeah. Eight zero seven two. Mm -hmm. Please leave your message for four seven eight three three five eight zero seven two. Sorry. Mailbox is full. Is to send an SMS. What is it? Four seven eight. Eight, one, two, three, three, four, four. Yeah. Hello. Uh, Trap, Terrence. Yeah. What's up, man? What's going on with you, man? Chilling, man. What's up, you alright? Yeah, yeah, man, I'm holding in the road, man. Where Bay at? Hello. What's up, Bay? Oh, they took you down now? Nah, nah, they down here just talking to me, asking me questions. Oh. So they uh, let me use the phone. Oh, all uh, right. Hello. Hey. Hey, Bay, what's up? Maybe you're okay. Yeah, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. Oh, did you get my message? You had messaged me back? Yeah. I ain't looked at it yet. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, you know, I, I only get like 30 minutes out at a time, so I had to check it when I go get back out again. Oh. Okay. But yeah, every time I, you know, if I can't call, I just message you, and then we just talk like that until I, I can. I miss you. I miss you too, like more than you know. And I, I was thinking like, damn, I guess it's true what they say, man. You never know how much you'll miss somebody until, till they gone. And I was like, man. I got so caught up in them streets, man. I just forgot what I had. Oh, I miss you. You all right? No. You been going to work? Yeah. Okay. They, they counsel the truth. Yeah, I wonder. I thought you was in Texas. When I talked to my mom, I told her you was in Texas. Nah, they had counsel. They sent my boss 
for two, cause he ain't go nowhere for two weeks, so they counseled it. I ain't go to, I came home last night, I wasn't feeling well. I'm thinking I would go take a COVID test today, I ain't wasn't feeling good. My body so, my throat so. Oh, man. So, you ain't got it. I've been home, though, every day. I don't be waiting on you to call. I'll be trying. I, every time I call, it goes straight to the parking lot. You, know, you don't know how to pay the rent. You don't know how to pay the shit. I know. Listen, listen, listen. That's what I was going to tell you. That's what I was going to write to because I went to the store, and I bought a pen. I ain't got no paper, pen, or nothing. Like I sent uh, you $200. Yeah, I know. I I, I got it. I, eventually, because the lieutenant went on there and showed me. And then I went to the store. They bought to bring it tomorrow. So I was going to write. Let me know whenever you need something. Let me know. All right. I, I, I believe. And I, I got, I, I want to talk to you like real talk, man. You know, and not, no, no disrespect to y'all in there, you know. But, yeah, I, I want to talk to you. And um, we're going to talk tonight when I call. And because uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I know, I know I'm going to need you in the long run. So, I'm going I'm to pretty much, like, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something, and it's going to help you out. It's going to help you out. So I'm, I'm going to talk to you about it later on. And I know y'all going to record the conversation anyway, so. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. It's going to help you out. It's going to help you get through this. But just know, like I just told my mom, I'm, uh, I've been a bad boy. And I've been a real bad boy. So, I'm on. Uh, you probably gonna see a lot of shit on the news too, just like I just told my mom. Cause I'm gonna go ahead and fess up to a couple more of the things I done did. So, you probably gonna you probably gonna see a lot of shit on the news. I ain't even looked at the news. Well, you ain't gonna see it just yet, cause I ain't confessed to it yet. But there's a couple more bodies that I got. I'm gonna tell them about. Oh, my fucking God, baby. I know, I know. I know I've been a bad boy, you know. I know. Same thing my mom just said. Oh, my God. These folks that the man. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. What? What's up? Nothing. I'm just saying, they... Man. It's gonna be all right, baby. It's gonna be all right. You know, I got myself into this, you know, I'm like... Just, you know, I don't really know what to say right now at this moment. You know, I don't really know what to say. You know. Yeah, I see. I, I think uh, Terry down there with the rent. The down there, he got a money order. He gonna drop it in the thing. You know, you know where to take it at, right? The real time property. The real. I seen it. I had a piece of paper. So uh, what about the shed? Um, call call hometown capital, or either just go to the place we got it from, and just uh, just explain to them like, look, you know, my old man got locked up. He was the one paying it, so I'm gonna take over the payments, you know. Or you can let him get it back, whatever. However you want to do that. No, I'm not. Okay, well then just just go over there to them people. You got all that stuff in there. Yeah, I know. That what I was thinking too. I was like. I wonder if they do let them get it back, how they gonna... Like I said, I thought you was in Texas, but... I thought you was in Texas, and I was like, them folks probably gonna try to come and get the shed or something, because she don't know how to pay it. Because I didn't get a chance to... I didn't get a chance to pay it, because I left the money on the dresser. The the, the little 300 something dollars that was on the dresser in the 20s. Yeah. Yeah, that was supposed to be paying for the shed. But I left it on my nightstand when, when um, the folk came, so... I don't know if they put it in their pocket or what they did with it, but it was on the so dress. I need to call them. Yeah, call the shed people. Oh, like I said, I go down there and talk to the man himself and explain to him that I got locked up and you need the number to the people that you're going to take over the payment. If I see hometown capital, I paid it once before with my card. Oh, yeah, well, that's so it. Just, that's the name I just, did, I just didn't know your account number. I don't know it by heart. I think it's a four-digit number, eight seven five one or something. It's a four-digit number, but uh, I don't know. I know you... your your card over here. I was gonna take your money on your card and pay the shit with it. Yeah, you could do that. But I don't know nothing. I don't know no information, baby. I don't know nothing. I like just like I said, call hometown capital. They'll tell you. And you know, you know, you still got the food stamp card. So what about your um child card? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, my chine card. Yeah, you got my chine card. It's money on them. What's your pin number here? 
10 29. Oh. My brother's birthday. Oh. Man. I miss you oh. too, man. Just you never here with these folks. Who, you talking about TJ, huh? Yeah, they, they make me sick. What, they, what, what going on? What, 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 ain't nothing they, I can do. They're not cleaning up with shit everywhere. Well, you they, know. They're, take, they're just taking over. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, baby, as you know, everything in that house is Ain't nobody got nothing in their eyes. The only thing Terrence got in there is that one TV. So if you if, if you want if you want them out of there, put them out of there. You don't come with me by myself. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be by myself. Don't you here with me? Who? The, 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 the tech, they probably gonna come and talk to you. But they ain't gave you the truck back yet? No. And what happened to your car? I still got it. I'm talking about I the, don't talk about the other one. I don't know. I, I was yeah. thinking. Did y'all get that car? Oh, uh, no, with the, we got the truck. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about the one where the gun was in. Because my mom said after they got the gun, a mm -hmm. couple of days later, somebody came and got the car. No, nah, we well, didn't mess with the car. So have you called the car people? You don't think they came and got? I don't know. I ain't even called them. That's what I got to thinking too. Like I don't know if you were behind on payment or something. Sure, I don't even know. I, I don't even know. I was gonna call them. If not, I wasn't gonna even worry about it. I was just gonna let them get it anyway. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's too much shit on them. But they, they was uh. I don't know when they're gonna give you a truck back, but they're gonna give it back to you after they go through it with a fine two cone. <laughs> Get out of here. I just want to call and talk to you because I ain't heard your voice. I, and I, I'm going to call you tonight. And yeah, like I, I said, miss you. I miss you too, man. Like more than you know. I just think all the stupid things I was doing, getting caught up in them streets. And I could have been spending that time with you, babying and pampering you. I told you that. I know, baby. I know. I know. I just, I just let the streets swallow me up again, man, with my stupidity, man. I just fucking with dead ass, man. And, and just, I told you. I just let the streets swallow me up. Man. So all I be thinking about, like, damn, man. Chasing that easy money. I could have got me a 95 and sucked my black dad down. I told you that. I, I know. That's all you kept telling me. Baby, just get a job and we can work. We have me, you know. And I, and I, but me trying to get that fair money. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I told you that. You going to call me? Yeah, I'm going to call you tonight, baby. I'm going to call you tonight. I'll put some money on that for you to message, though, but I'll put some more if you need to. Nah, I'll check it tonight when I get in there. Like I said, you know, I, I, I was trying to call. and But I, I, every time I call your phone, it goes straight to voice. Uh, you know that little button on the side? You know, if the number ain't ready, it'll, it, it'll go straight to voicemail. But the girl showed me how to do it last night. I, when you had called back, I had my headset in. Uh, picked up the phone, but you hung up. I guess you thought it was finna uh, hang up. No, I didn't, I didn't hang it up. It hung up. Oh, yeah. I had the uh, headset. I was at work then when you called, and I went up and you called me back. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm gonna call you tonight, then. I, I don't know if you're going in or not. I try to, I try to based on when I call you, because I know you go to meetings at 7. I don't even really go to the meeting. I seen the other dude. Oh, meeting. okay. I don't 
I'll be right but I got there, I got there, I got there. I'm so glad to hear your voice though. I'm good, you know, I can go I can go lay in the cell now. You know, not rack my brain, cause that's all I'm gonna think about. Like, man, I ain't heard her voice, I need to talk to her. Real one I've been listening to your message. That you left on the phone. What message? That you left on the phone when you called me. And you left me a message. Oh. You know me? Like, what's going on? Why you asking the phone? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I'm going to try to call you like four, five times. They go straight to the bar, man. Yeah, that's what I've been listening to. Yeah, we're going to. We're going to. I want you to know I'm, I'm here. I'm like, I'm here. I believe, I believe you, man. I got you. I got you. I got you. I believe you. I got you. Need anything? You want to got some cannabis? Give me a call. And I just miss you so much. I miss you too, bro. Just get better, man. If you feel sick, don't go in. Just stay at high. Uh, that's what I said. I'm sweating now. One o'clock. I ain't got no. I'm finna call it. Is there vehicle? I'm finna get up and uh go take the COVID test. Uh, see whether or not I got it or not, cause I am sweating like a hog. I'm sweating like a hog right now. Even if I don't, I think I'm, I got a head cold or something. All right, all right. How the dog doing? I'm right outside now. I think we left him outside in the rain. <laughs> yeah. Last night when I had went and bought him some of that dog food, that beautiful. You talking about? What you talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Ciao, io.